and welcome back everyone this is the olympiad a line that we oh i have myself open somewhere hold on i don't want to listen to myself there we go all right sorry about that <laughs> i heard an echo of myself uh welcome everyone we are back with a uh, pool number c as you can see uh b has a bit of a delay due to uh, due to nigeria uh, having some trouble. I don't know exactly what. I just know that pool B is a bit delayed for now. So we will be looking at pool C. Which will be starting momentarily. Um, until then we got a little bit of a break. I hope everybody is feeling good. Looking good. And is being good. And then we can start. Why are you guys lolling? Why are you guys putting lol in chat? Did I do something wrong again? You guys are cringe chats. You guys are cringe. Uh, we'll start pool C in about three minutes. But let's... Uh, let's <laughs> Let's look over the uh, the schedule. A quick look at the schedule one more time. Hold on, can you tell us a little bit about what's about to come? Uh, yeah, of course. So we've got a big schedule going on in the August month, the month of August. Yeah, we're only we're not even halfway with this whole event. We are now currently at Division Three, Base Division and Division Four were happening in the past two weekends. So now we are in Division Three. And yeah, of course, uh, the division two and the division and the top division are the divisions where the money is, is and the prizes are going to get divided as well as the medals. And well, actually, that's not true because after that we of course have the playoff, and that's where actually the, the prizes are divided and the medals and such. And yeah, here we've got the countries of division three. So take a look at who you will be rooting for because yeah, Division Three is lasting this whole weekend. So yeah, a lot of fun stuff to yeah to look forward to. This Absolutely. is only the weekend. So Absolutely. And there will be more uh, next week. If you think my country isn't here and I don't think they're a top country, maybe they are in next week. Let's look in that one real quick. Something like Germany and Netherlands, very strong teams. Uh, will be some of the headliners next week. Turkey, Romania, also Greece, very strong obviously. Israel will be there. I think Galvan will be playing. I'm not too sure, but we can uh, we can at least expect a lot of uh, hype during these uh, intermissions chat. And I can show the standings that we have real quick on the pools that have been played. I'm not sure if Pool B is completely accurate uh, on standings. I think it is, since everybody played. So we're just going to go for that. We see Albania taking the lead in Pool A, and uh, actually in Pool B, we have the international physical disabled, uh, disabled yes. chess confederation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. IPCA, Portugal and Scotland also taking the lead quite nicely. So, um, good stuff. Actually, we're having a lot of joy during these rounds that we have going on. Uh, let me talk a little bit more about the format, if this is your first time. This is the Olympics. When it comes to chess, this is the Olympics. This is the most prestigious thing. The honor for your country, you want to be in here, chat. It's a great... Uh, as it has a lot of sponsors. It's, it, they're, they're, they're pulling out great. And I really like what they're doing here. And we're happy to bring this event to you uh, during these hot days. We see, so if there are any questions about, hey, I see a lower rated board here and a higher rated board there. That's about each team has two open boards. Anybody can play two women boards, one junior male boards and one junior female board. So that's how we spice things up a little bit. And now we see some uh, great stuff going on. And I've been told that the games are live soon. So we're going to start in a minute. Um, who do you think? In the pool C, let me let me bring pool C up a little bit again. Who's the favorite for you here? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one because well, Belgium uh, was one of the favorites, but I see their lineup right now, and their number one player, Mr. Bart Michels, is not playing today, mm. or at least not in the first round. So without their top player, they I think that they are maybe going to have a bit of a hard time today. But of course, we'll see what's happening. They do still have a strong lineup. And besides that, I'm also, uh, Jordan is also a, a country to follow here. Also with a high average rating, a good fifth board, good board one, board two, good women boards as well. So yeah, I think those are the two countries to follow. But yeah, this is chess. So of course, you'll never know. So yeah, 
those two countries for me. Is there a country that you think uh, would be a good one, uh, Big? So I'm always you... rooting for the underdog. You know me. I'm I'm underdog, Big. Under Big. I'm under Big. Um, yeah. So what are we like? I believe Iraq is from Division Four. Did, did they promote? Uh, no, Iraq was uh, already seated in uh, in Division. Three. Okay, then I'm not rooting for them because they're not on the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know. The I... underdogs here, then the then the 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 players the wow the countries that got promoted are malta mm -hmm. and thailand oh thailand and lebanon those are the three countries that nice. promoted right. division four i'm still gonna go for belgium uh because you know they are there they are brethren when it comes to the dutch language so we gotta read for them and yeah. we will be starting in a minute chat let me show you again one more time who will be the top players in this event and we have a lot of top players here. Uh, with Ding Liren, obviously for China. We have Ion the Pomiachi and Alexander Grishuk, the powerhouse for Russia. That's going to be a really tough cookie, as they would say in Netherlands. And also, uh, Azerbaijan has a very strong lineup with Rajabov and Mamajor. Is there someone that you're missing here that you would have liked to see, Roland? Well, a lot of players from Russia, obviously. I mean, there are so many fantastic players of that country. So, yeah, of course, there um, for the United States, I'm missing, for example, Ikaru Nakamura or uh, uh, Fabiano Caruana. I believe I don't see that in the cards just yet. But for more information, I'm not 100% sure what their lineups, exact lineups are. But for more information, you can actually check the website uh, yourselves, I took uh, gave everybody a link in the chat if you want to see what their lineups are. But Legit. of course, I'm already 100% satisfied with this lineup. I mean, uh, some amazing players participating anyway in the top division and in the second division. Obviously. We're getting spoiled. Are you ready for the games? Is the chat ready for the games? Should I, should I try it again? Ask nicely for the chat that they will ask. Please show us the game, Sir Bigfoot and Sir <laughs> Faxus. Please, okay, I'm just gonna show. Uh... Um, okay. <laughs> let's go for the first one. This is Labagon against Madagascar. Uh, we're gonna see the board. We're gonna scroll through the countries and the board ones that we have going on in here with Fi Antenian Ante Antiana Rakotok. Yeah. I believe I said that correctly. And Fadi Ait. And they are playing uh, an interesting, very interesting opening off the bat. This seems like a very weird Sicilian defense. Yeah, I've seen it this before. So it's more or less a mix between the uh, the Richter Rauser setup. Well, it's not exactly that. It's not the Richter Rauser is technically when White plays Bishop G five, but a classical Sicilian in any case. And White's answered with a Bishop E three and Queen F three setup, and E five is actually the main theory here. Yeah, the idea is to to uh to attack in the center while you can because if if uh, if white is getting all the moves that he wants with long castle g4 g5 then black is going to be in a lot of trouble so black has to do something real quick here and with e5 uh, there's also a little trick involved because for example after knight takes b6 b takes c6 long castle uh black has bishop g4 as a trick here Ooh, nasty pin. To watch out for yeah i'm gonna so, watch out where the latest go so in short there are two responses for white one is yeah. i'm gonna grab your knights i'm gonna take this and i'm just gonna play rook d1 or bishop c4 yep. whichever um or another interesting idea is i'm just gonna hop to f5 which one would you yeah. prefer and knight of five is usually the main move here. Yeah, and after bishop takes, e takes, I think that, um, I'm not 100% sure, you do have some Rupert tricks. G5 here? E5, yeah. Yeah, strong. I think there, there is a difference with the actual main line because because the pawn, there's a pawn on a3. And with the pawn on a3, usually instead you have the position with long castle instead of a pawn okay. on a3. So that's the that's the minor thing that we have going on here. Let's yeah. uh, move to the next countries bowling out. Thailand and Zambia. Okay. On board one, we have WFM Lorita Mongo and Mahunto Atikakan. If I said it correctly, I think I did. 
That's not board one, but it's one of the boards that we have. It's probably board four. Uh, boards, probably board three, if yeah, I would presume. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This seems like yeah. a very dry position right now. Let's see if I can see something spicy. The chat wants to see something spicy. <laughs> I believe. I believe in the chat, and I will show them it. Uh, though, all the pieces, all the games at the moment are very nice. Let's go to uh, the final one that we have on board right now, which is Jordan versus Wales. Also yeah. a very interesting one. You said we should look out for Jordan, correctly? Yeah, Jordan is, uh, is actually one of the favorites, at least on my book. I mean, it's all relative in this case. But yeah, I think that Jordan is, uh, has got a, a strong lineup and their average rating is higher than, than most of the countries in this pool. So yeah, I think it's definitely a country to look out for. Hulot. I found yeah. one. Yeah, I yeah. found one. I knew you would find one. Got him. Yeah. We have a uh, King's Indian chat. I'm not sure if you heard of it. I'm not sure if this is the first time that you encounter it. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna school you all on uh, the King's Indian. I really like the take with the palm. That is that is to my heart. I, I really like that because nine h five. I mean, do you have to really? You know, just have four. <laughs> let's go. No, let's go. I mean, what, what do you want to do? What, what are you gonna do? I, I want to grab the bishop. Bear. Yo, I don't yeah. care. You, no. you grab that bishop, buddy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the king even. And they play by rook here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Right. Um, legend, legend. Uh, look look not... at you. You're terrified. You're terrified. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Okay. I'm not, but okay. I'll, I'll give this one. Uh -oh. So yeah, it's, it's uh... an interesting position anyway. It's an interesting position. Yeah. yeah. F3, no. F3. Now black is fine. Now black is fine. Knight of six, for example. Yeah, yep. now everything is okay. Solid opening. Told you. I told you, solid open. Everybody's not playing. I played the king <laughs> myself when I was younger. So. Ah, yeah. well, the knight is five way better. Yeah, knight is five yeah. was way better, but fortunately, yeah. unfortunately, we don't see that. But we're gonna keep an eye on this game. I, I, I do enjoy that. Let's see what else we have here. We have Jason Garcia against Mansoor Samir, who are bal juking it out. And White has a very nice position here. Ooh, I like these. So this is what I would like to do with White. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right. I want to go knight e4, knight c3. So I have double protection on d5. Is that a bad idea or is that something to go for? I actually want to play f4. I want to break open the dark square so that I can, for example, play knight of 6 if black takes on f4. Yeah, that's true. That's Stuff true. like that. that. That looks interesting to me. But, okay, big question here. A uh, big question here. There I go again. Okay, would you take on d5 here with the pawn or with the bishop? Pawn. Because you control both these squares, which is actually slightly better, and you open up the C file for your rook. And I, I would take with the pawn. All right. Yeah, I think I would do too. And what? Yeah, a follow up once again could be a move like F four. That's something that really attracts me in this position. But you want F four and F five? There is yeah, this in the middle. Um, well, the problem in, after F four now is that there is a coming a knight on F five, and you don't want to allow a knight on. E three, obviously. No, no, no. Yeah. So, what about D five now for black? Isn't that looking good for black? That looks uh, quite well. Well, maybe just take it easy, Bishop B six first. You can, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. First Bishop B six, and maybe D five later. I think black is doing quite well. I'm not sure if Bishop takes D five was correct there. No. I let me show this chat. If you take with the Bishop with the pawn here, and let's say the knight goes back to E seven, now suddenly you can start making moves here. On the, the queen sides, yeah. these are more open. You can start playing e4, f4, because this knight cannot go to e3. There's a lot, you grab a lot more space uh, with the pawn there, even though it seems illogical because you block your own bishop. It's actually better in the long run because you're going to start bringing a knight there. You know, you're going to mm -hmm. start hopping a knight all of a sudden to c6. Also an idea. So uh, more yeah. options. Thing with the pawn. You're grabbing a lot of space with c takes d5. Yeah. Exactly. We already have a result. Uh, really? Already? Oh, wow. That's a mate. Yeah, that's a mate. That's a 13 uh -huh. move. We're going to start. We're going to start from the bottom. Start from the start. It was a... Ooh, please tell me you played the Evans Gambit. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> okay, this seems quite normal. So far, yeah. so good. Okay, I already hate this. Yeah. It's very, be... very new position. Yeah, you have to play Bishop B5 here because you cannot allow this knight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a uh, 
This is a rough one. Yikes. All right. It is what it is. But let's look at the, the, the top board here of uh, Madagascar versus Lebanon. Black is really pushing that center. Yeah, Black needed a few more tempi to have everything under control. For example, if you had G4, G5 on the board, then white would be a lot better. But yeah, it's uh, now with the pawn on E4, things are looking very, very good for Black, I would say. Maybe a queen a5 move, or maybe d4 even, if that's possible after queen e2. Absolutely. Are you, uh, do you like b5 kind of ideas, or is that too soon for you? Mm, well, yeah, b5, I think it's too soon. Maybe just a6, b5. That's a bit slow, in my opinion. I, I don't think you have the time for that, because if white gets g4, g5, and then you're in a world of trouble, so, yeah. And white is going to try and do that in the next move. For example, if you play queen e2 here with white, yeah. and you're threatening g4, g5, obviously. So, yeah, if you play a6, for example, g4, yeah, so d4 would be my interesting choice. Oh, he actually has a, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm wondering if that works because it is pinned for the moment. But yeah. for example, what happens after queen c2, c4? Queen c4. Um... A good question. I cannot just play queen c7, right? No, it doesn't seem like no. it. Well, uh, you can. You can, can actually. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll go queen c7. Or maybe I'll just go queen a5 and then look at this pawn. Yeah, for example, bishop takes d4, queen takes a5. It's looking pretty much okay for black, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I do get your, uh, your idea. It's a little bit too uh, slow. Actually, I got an idea, by the way. After d4, queen c4. Uh, you also have the idea to put a queen on, for example, b8 now. Yeah, so if you take on d4, then you can take on f4 with check, and you win a pawn because f5 will also fall. Oh, uh, tricky queen b8. Very nicely spotted. Look at the GM flexing on those plebs. Oh, very nice, dude. Very nice. You gotta show your muscles then, you know. <laughs> show, show the power. Um... Uh, what else do we have? Let me scroll a little bit through the chat. If you see uh, a game that you need us, you need us to see, uh, let us know and we might take it under consideration. Until then, I'm going to pick up uh, Javad Farhat against Vanilo Nomen Janahari. And here we go. White has a beautiful bishop. Yeah, this is looking good for white. Uh, black has problems with the, the queen side once again. It's still a bit underdeveloped, and white has nice pressure in the center with the e4 pawn. Uh, rooks are connected, black's rooks aren't. Black still needs a few moves to untangle himself. So, yeah, big advantage, I would say, for white. e5, does that work after knight d7, d4? Yeah, it looks still okay. But after d4, you have knight b6. Knight and b6, yes. Coming in on c4. Yikes. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of closing down the position, by the way, because you do have a lot of developmental lead here with white. Mm -hmm. So opening up the position would actually be the right way to go, usually, then. I agree. But if I would play, I don't know, something like maybe even f4 and f5 if possible. Probably not the best idea, but... Yeah, you you really like f4. That's something that I learned. You really <laughs> like f4. Uh, people ask a second board of a Libadon. Uh Let's see what's going on. I'm not sure this is the second board. The third board, I believe. Second board is... It's probably this one. We are looking for it still. This is the first board of Thailand, I believe. Oh, yeah, it's the first board of Thailand. Thailand. This is the first board? I yeah. say this is the second board? This is the third board, actually. This is the third board. This is the first women's board, yeah. We're going to get there. Is this a then? Uh, let's see. No, also not. This is board four. Is this one is already done, right? They're not uh, looking at this one. Okay, this I only have five boards. I think they started later, so I don't have that on, unfortunately. Yeah, probably. We, we forgot a... Uh, we, we couldn't find the second board, unfortunately. Sometimes that happens, sometimes they start later, or sometimes it's just not uh, not there. Maybe they were already finished. So, yeah, there are some exactly. times we, uh, we cannot uh, find it. Why is the ELO gap so high some games? Uh, Seems unfair. Angry rank. Uh, hold on, do you have an answer for that? I absolutely do. Yeah, so these are actually the chess.com ratings. So these are not the official ratings here. 
uh that is yeah we couldn't uh, manage that unfortunately so the chestnut con ratings are a bit dis uh, deceiving because some some uh, players could have maybe just opened a uh, recent chess.com account and then you start at for example rating 2000 just uh, for example and so it's a bad indicator of what the player strengths are exactly so just to make an example fadi 8 with the white pieces right here actually has a rating of 2337 and his opponent with black pieces has a rating of 2370. so yeah just for your information, the chest com ratings are not the official ratings. Cool. All right. Thank you for that explanation. Hope that helps. Um, let's continue. Let's see if we get some juicy end games. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is close. This is nice. I like this one. This is nice and easy with uh, Bushra Al Shabi versus Kimberly Chong. And it seems like white is better because of the weird pawn structure of black. Do you agree? I agree, and also because the king is safe on g1, while the black king is, well, it can move to d7 at some point, but then you have knight g5 ideas. So, yeah, for yeah, knight g5, and then the f7 pawn could become a real problem here already. Exactly. That's for example. So yeah, I, I think that white has uh, white has the, the the initiative here. By the way, after king d7, knight g5, you can play h6. Trying to trap that knight on f7. But... Ooh, that's a cute one. Yeah. So, yeah, knight takes f7, rook h7, and I think actually that you win the knight on f7. But... You don't have enough pressure on d6 to win it back? Mm. No, you have g5, and then you lose. Yeah, attacking the bishop as well as the knight. Uh, this is not the worst, though, but this, it is it is better for uh, for black, absolutely. Yeah. But you have you have free connected pass pawns, and, you know, that's, that's, true. that's something. All right, no. uh, we don't see anything of that just yet, but let's see if we do see something joyous. Uh, I was talking about the King's Indian defense. Let's see <laughs> how that uh, transpired. Let's, let's see which let's, let's see which game it was. This game. This was the game. Let's see how that transpired. Oh, they're still in the uh, in the early phases. One could say the early early phases. Yeah, not much going on here. I would definitely consider H five here as black. To try and push on the on the king side with h4, h3, perhaps. Yeah, and like yeah, I mean, white has c5 on one of the next moves, but it doesn't really do a lot at the moment. So, I think black is doing perfectly fine. I think you um, can even consider b5 here because of the weakness on d5, because you cannot yeah. usually you want to push this forward, but now you can just snag it off, and you don't have bishop c4. Yeah, that's true. B5, interesting suggestion, yeah. I don't know how I would deal with that. Well, I think you'd have to... Yeah, that's a good question. You think you'd have three. to take? Well, yeah, if you don't, take, then. You don't want to take, right? Yeah. Um, we have a knight takes... Well, yeah, what about taking? How do you solve that, then? Probably just take it back with this. And, and how do you defend this? Back. Can I take on C7? Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah no. Okay. <laughs> not there. We take d6. I don't have this, but I do have this. Yeah. Really opens up the position. I like it though. You know, I'm not sure who's better here. Probably. Rook d1. The queen on d6 is very annoying there. And yeah. The knight I agree. on d5 is looking. I'm not sure. b5 is interesting though. It's definitely an idea to to keep in mind. Oh. Yeah. She played king h8. That's not a bad thing. Play rook d8 at some point. <laughs> They always play these good moves. Disgusting. Um, yeah, yeah. This what is an interesting one. With uh, Lois Samir with a 800 rating. This is uh, this is what we talk about with an uh, obvious new yeah. account. This is a candidate yeah. master with 800 rating. Uh, I don't think so. That's really the truth. And he's playing Ethan Rathbone Jones. And let's see how this is going to work. It is white to move here. And can they just win a pawn? Uh, white to move, win a pawn. No, f2 is under attack. So if you take on e4 twice, then you will uh, lose the pawn on f2. Ah, you'll lose here. But... You can play something solid here. Yeah. For example, rook d2 looks okay. Rook d2 is fine. Yeah. What about bishop c1, bishop e3? 
Yeah, that looks good too. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Yeah, to protect so, F2 and then uh, oh, yeah, the A5 yeah. is a big weakness as well. Maybe you cannot really take this then immediately, but I don't think that matters too much. I think you can take it eventually later. Yeah. All right, so but rook 2 also looks very fine and uh, we're going to go for it. So now uh, bishop h6, I was a bit worried about that. So yeah. I like bishop c1 actually a lot better. Yeah, just put the bishop on e3. There because no way of attacking and you can try it to well after bishop e3 that's actually a big threat because the queen does not have a good square to go to that's a moment. good uh that's a good point and you can start pushing c5 at some point if you put your rook behind it so yeah. multi-purposal move i would say you can try and grab all the pawns on the queen side so we're gonna lose this pawn do you agree with me this pawn is gonna be lost well let's say that at least it's very useful useless at the moment so would yeah. you play e3 here? Mm, not at the moment, but it's a good idea, yeah. Bishop Purely takes e3. to open this up. Because you cannot do it anymore if the bishop is on ah, e3. And you yeah. really want to open this one up. It's actually not a bad suggestion, yeah. So take after here, queen d6. Queen c8. Yeah. Oh, then you have this. So queen yeah, d6 on the move. And if the knight goes to b6, for example, then you have queen c6. And that's that's your point. Exactly. And now we're looking. Yeah. Now we're playing. It's a really good suggestion, yeah. Making the bishop on b7 uh, more active. Yeah, yeah, but after rook seven, bishop b3, I think that uh, white's in. Yeah, way. I think white's better here, so. g4, perhaps, knight b6. Knight b6 looks annoying, at least. If you, if, yeah, rook, and now rook takes a5. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Can you play? Nah, no, this, this, this costs too much, fortunately. Yeah. What about. Hold on, I'm... No, this... Oh! Hold on, hold on. Rook takes, Wait. bishop takes, e3. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Knight d5. Oh, damn it, dude! I... <laughs> this looks so good, man. <laughs> Even though this is not that no, bad. No, but knight d5 once again with the trick, knight, a, knight e7. So you can even play queen takes f2 here. I was so proud, dude. I was so proud. Yeah. Come at me. It's all the that's how I, that, because of this stuff I, I i lost against you once you see this very quick <laughs> it is all this all right chat uh let's move on from this game they're, they're fun games though they're fun games let's go to a let's let's get a lesson from the gm in end games give us a, a full rundown how you win this as white well let's start with grabbing the e5 pawn um it's not so easy this by the way yeah well the, the big thing here is the blockade on e4 so uh first of all you're threatening queen takes e5 so you need to defend for example with queen f7 to try and attack the d they yeah, take with check unfortunately ah i'm sorry um uh, so king f6 then it's, it's, it gets a little bit dicey if you if you lose the pawn then it's already over so and after rook f3 you just go back to g7 basically offering it. that's true that's true no uh, i guess but i guess is d6 really a good move yeah d6 looks oh, very yeah. nasty because if you take you could just take on b7 and now and the back crank is uh, exposed yeah rook f3 and if you play something like queen d7 then you can take the pawn on a a6 winning a pawn there yeah all right, so okay, I don't know, it's difficult. I don't know what black to play here. Well, if if you win the e5 pawn, then it should be. Well, actually, how do you defend? You, okay, let let's say you play something like something like rook d7. Let's yeah. Okay, and we're gonna trade everything off. Yeah, and then king f6. King f6, and then rook here. If you go to g5, then you're more or less stuck as white, because the That's rook cannot go anywhere, and well, you can put your king on an e4, d4. Uh, I'm supporting the d5 pawn and then maybe play something like g4. Oh, I was I was saying maybe you can play c6 afterwards, but what about c6 right now? Um, wow, you're so tricky. You b cannot do c this. You can start running. Yeah, so b takes c6, I guess. So b takes, pawn takes. Oh, you have, oh, you have checks. Okay, so you cannot do that. So you give a check here first and then you grab this pawn. King uh, f5. King f5 and take here. Take 5 
Yeah, the more pawns you are going to be off the board, the better for black. So rook d2, rook d3. Yeah, exactly. Why does winning chances of... Oh, well, actually, you do have rook c5, rook c6 there. But oh! That looks good. What? Okay. This is bad. D6, and that pawn will be monstrous throughout the rest of yeah, the Yeah, that's, uh, that's over. Uh, this is now GG. G -G. Now it's easy. Yeah, C6, double question mark. You're correct for for, for Rashi's reader. Wow. For, for Rashi's? Ferocious. Ferocious. You're ferocious. I don't know what ferocious is, but... You know, that's, you know, that's, that's, yeah. sometimes in life, there are things that we don't understand. I don't understand why my dog hates me so much that she literally pulled down the garbage bag to eat my leftover eggs. All right. She also chews on everything. So we'll, uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a strong talk. If everybody wants to adopt a puppy, uh, hit me up. Let's see. Oh, she's here. Hi. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of, uh, a lot uh, of things. Games after this stream. Let's yeah. see. Uh, a few games have started. So a few games started late. So I can only access them now. Let's see. Uh, the Belgians. The Belgium squad, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Let's, let's look go. at a few of them. We have Castiel Memeti versus Korab. Sa oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Um, Castiel Memeti is actually a teammate of mine in Belgium. I play uh, Belgium competition sometimes, and Castiel plays for me with HK Mozan. So I'm hoping he will do well. I, I don't know how to. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. When there are symbols coming in, that's <laughs> that's a rough one. <laughs> ah, yeah, that, that's a, <laughs> that's a hard one. That's why that's I, I don't I don't draw I don't talk C plus um, plus. All right, but we have a very interesting. That's why these timers are also low. They started a little bit late, and they're only 13 moves in. Uh, it is one of this chat, but we are going strong. We are going hype. Uh, let me show you guys again real quick the teams that we have going on right now. Uh, Denmark, Chile, Uruguay. So now we have also Belgium in the race uh, connected with a lot of strong players. They're now playing Kosovo and Malta is playing Iraq. We're going to go to those games a little bit later. So I think this is a very opening game. We don't have too much going on. All of these are still in the opening because they started a little bit late. This one is not in the opening. Uh, this one looks really interesting. This is Thailand, I believe. So that is, Correct. if I'm not mistaken, this is board one. Yeah, so a little story about board one. Uh, Mr. Tanadon or Kul Puet Tanon from Thailand has had a 100% score in the previous uh, division uh, where Thailand promoted to 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 uh, got a promotion to this division. So I'm wondering if he can keep the 100% score in this pool as well. He in that uh, in the previous weekend he defeated international masters, FIDE masters, all sorts of uh, strong titled players. So I'm curious to see if he will do well here too. What do you think? Is White doing well, uh, Vic? Yeah, White is doing pretty well. I see this connected past pawn, this one right here. Uh, I think it's going to be a deal changer, especially because Black doesn't have an answer for his knight. He cannot get rid of it in any way. His pieces are perfectly placed, and at one point he's going to play like knight d6 and get the king over here to start picking up this pawn. And yeah. this knight is completely locked out, can't go anywhere. This bishop is completely yeah. useless at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It's especially the knight on h5. That that piece is not doing anything at the moment. Right. And like you said, knight d6. Uh, yeah, just start running. Actually, start running. That seems uh, it seems very good. So we have a few results. Let's go over them. Uh, we have this one is over. Unfortunate. Look at that checkmate. Schaakman. Oh, look at that. Schaakman. <laughs> we have a. Uh, Wait, this was there already mate? <laughs> she missed mate on this move. Played knight b6. Realized she had mate. Hit herself in the head 20 times. Because that's what you do when you miss mate. You're like, oh my god, what did I do? And you reconsider your life options. Then she played rook c1. And she's like, hey, I can still do it. Queen h2, queen h1. And we have a mate. Very nice, very well done. With another one over. Now this one seems pretty over. Not too much to do here. This one is going to promote very well. And then we have this one. Another checkmate coming in. Well, it's a maiden two uh, or three, whatever you call it. 
Mm. Buy the, uh, the candy man. Who has 800? Now 1475. Look at that. Play on chess.com if you want your rated boosted. That's all I can say, chat. And then I have another game right here where it seems that Belgium first win Tiani de Rijke versus Endrikiona Sarici. Sarici, yeah. Last board um, of the, the match there. Yeah, well done by Tiani de Rijke. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Okay, close to some games, uh, some new games mm -hmm. popping up. Let's, uh, let's go to this. We have Iraq versus Malta. And this is the board two question mark. Uh, let me check. Um, this is actually board five, the youth board. Okay, yeah. it's board five. Yeah. All right, look at that. Um, I'm not quite sure about this position. Who am I actually? Actually, this guy is a big fan of my streams. I see him a lot. ATM six hundred twenty-two is his name. So. Uh, I'm gonna root for white here. A little bit biased, a little bit biased. If you follow my stream chat, I will. Uh... <laughs> if you come to my stream, I'll, I'll share the link. I'll Just root me. for you in the Olympiads. <laughs> That's the way it is. Uh, I will leave anyone's game chats. Well, it looks like white is doing more or less fine. Not big weaknesses. Uh, potential to take on c5 and create an isolated pawn structure yeah, here. I like that. That's I good. think knight e2 is a good idea. Maybe to get some d takes e5 action going in there at some point. But there's also an idea for black, and that's to try and play c4, b5, and b4, for example. So, yeah, I mean, this is just a double-edged position. Maybe it's already better to just take on c5 first. Because if you allow c4 and then b5, b4, then you're yeah, more that's, or less that's nasty. Uh, toast. So... Probably taking first is a good idea, although then still, I mean, the bishop on b7, I mean, d4 ideas are, are in the air now, so. Absolutely. I don't so, know. I think the more I look at this, the more I like black, but objectively, it should maybe be simply okay for white, for example, after bishop g2. But I think practically, I think that white should be. Yeah. Uh, should be okay. At least, should yeah. be fine. So here's an idea. So I want to move this knight because I want to I wanna eyeball f6. So I kind of want to go 92 here, uh, but maybe I give too much space now on d4. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. you, you cannot take like this because you will lose this, and you don't want to push this because that just gives hmm. immeasurable strength for the pawn structure. So uh, it's interesting. It's very yeah, interesting. It's uh, very tricky. I think the black has the more resource at the moment, so white needs to be very careful. Look at this. One ending. Hmm. Yeah, that's over. This is the that game that we discussed with like Knight F5. This is the first game we were discussing. Yeah, Knight yeah, now I know. It did now happen. Yeah. Queen F5 happened. Knight moved back, which is interesting, but it makes sense. Prepared against D4 and Bishop. You wanted to push G4. G4 happened. Yeah, but I also mentioned it was it was too late. I mean, Black is now already fully advanced on by oh center. this is interesting why doesn't why just take this uh, knight here we want free knight i guess knight b4 yeah knight b4 seems very strong i don't know how you defend this yeah because no it's just made because the c3 you can even have a knight a2 first and think this will mate somewhere yeah that's when winning king b3 queen c4 mate okay yeah yeah, before. that's winning. And if he takes here, you'd have to sacrifice your queen. That's yeah, something you don't want to see. So they didn't play that. Uh, he went for no. Oh, need to reset. Queen b3. Look at that. That's very strong play by Black. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This looks like a perfect game. Um, yeah, I saw the opening. The opening. The big mistake. I think. Well, the opening. I did not like a3 there. Like I said, it was way too slow, and uh, instead white could play a bit more active, a bit more aggressive there. Yeah, yeah. so now they free. But black is going to be fine after after how black played. Basically, black has a tempo up compared to a classical uh, Sicilian line there. Interesting. All right, let's see another uh, game ending. That's this one. I think we already looked this one. No, this yep. is... Uh... All okay. right, so I think it's another point for Belgium. 
Uh, I heard that uh, the Arak players had to shuffle their players a little bit. So they started all a little bit later. Uh, FYI chat. So I'm gonna let's give a good old refresh. Maybe we will see some more boards, but that's why the Arak hasn't really been showing up until now. So let's right. see how Arak is doing against uh, Malta. Uh, why does knight g6 here? Okay. GG. Yeah, GG. <laughs> There's a uh, <laughs> very strong yeah. atmosphere. Very strong yeah. atmosphere. Oh, yeah, that's over. How's everyone doing, chat? How's everyone doing? <laughs> Big supporter going to Raw. Howdy is in the chat. With Rodic Mind chat. Para 1. King Skanderberg also here. Very nice people. I like the energy. I like the crowds. I like my host as well. I like board two. Bush is oh. done. Uh, black <laughs> is oh oh. Yeah, that's over, Queen. I uh, just what is it? The yeah, Queen H two is King E two, but Black is a piece up and it's gonna run with the C pawns in place. So oh, it's been down for a while. Okay. Yeah, it's been down for a while. All right, all right, all right. Hey, ladies. All right, let's see if we get some uh, some some juicy end game positions. I oh, know. Well, this one just ended. Let's look at that. With checkmates. Oh, I'm very happy to see that. My teammate won his first game for Belgium. Nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Very nice, very... mate. Hop, hop. You love to see it. Uh, yeah. I see a juicy endgame here. And I know my boy Roland loves his endgames. Oh, boy, boy. White's a pawn up. Uh, has a more active bishop, I think. I think just king c3, a3, b4 should be good enough for a win. Yeah, Seems and good. the bishop, the white bishop, can nicely be placed on f5 at some point. Uh, to yeah, I would go to f5 and then b4. Just start. This is waiting for a right, right? If they ch exchange. Yeah, that pawn landing is clearly winning. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna go king here. So b4 now. Oh yeah, you're gonna lose this one. Well, you can win the pawn, so you need to play bishop c6, and now b4 or something. No, no, I don't think I will take. Um. Yeah, okay. I can take your A pawn now. Yeah, I don't think that's the worst, maybe. Bishop B7. Mm, well, here, yes. I'll go here. Yeah, Bishop C8. Are you so going to A... No, not now, man. <laughs> Six, A6. Uh, Bishop A8, Bishop C8. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I, I need to grab this, and then you grab this. And... Why are you trying to make a fool out of me, man? Uh, you know, whenever I can. Whenever yeah, I can, my man. That's what we do here. Yeah. All right, um, so it means two pawns. So yeah. yeah, it should be it should be winning. It's an interesting yeah. endgame though. It's just that this 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 king is way too late for the defense. It should be in the middle of the board, and yeah. this is just way too slow because even if you do something like this, let's see, we do this. Uh, I can always just lock you out this way, and there's no way yeah. for you to to run in. So. Yeah, I also notice the color of the pawns. The white has nice pawns on e3 and f4, while black has a weak pawn on e4 that still needs some defending. So. Oh, but look at the time, though. 13 seconds against one second. Move! Disconnection. Disconnection. He disconnected. Yeah, look at the bar. Look at the bar. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. I hate to see really... it. That was a red bar on the internet disconnection. Zambia, with a winning oh. endgame, got uh, disconnected. Oh. That, yeah. You need internet. You need good internet, guys. Oof, that sucks. Hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, let's look at the other games uh, that just finished. We have a nice checkmate here from uh, Lebanon versus Madagascar, which is will be a win for Madagascar here. We have a, a very nice game ending between Wales, I believe, and Jordan, correct? Which is a, a nice win. Obviously, for Jordan, very strong, very strong. Yep. One. We have four. another Wales versus Jordan, and it seems like Jordan won again. So they Wales are three. they are they're steaming through with another one, a resignation by Kosovo. Uh, Belgium wins. Here we go. Let's go, and we yeah. have one more game. Uh, this was the Kings Indian, I believe. Oh yeah, Kar uh, I was wrong. Caruana is participating, by the way. Okay, Caruana is participating. This is not the one. Okay, I thought I put the Kings Indian lose. Uh, so White wins here, which is a point for Malta. Easy clap. Yeah. 
Oh, and then another one. This is the last one that just finished. Uh, another point for Wales. Okay. So we're running to the end, chat. We have a lot of hyped games going on. We have this one, where we have a rook versus a queen. We have this one, which is, if we look at the game state right now. Oh! Let's go. What do we have here? Um, oof, Black looks close to winning. Close to winning because... Um, yeah, I was going to say close to winning, but actually I think that White's everything under control after... Don't play King of Four, guys. That would be not the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Checkmate. Schaakmat. With the teachers from Dutch Holland. So, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Schaakmat, everybody. So, King E2, if you play G3, then White can just check everywhere behind the pawn. Should be okay. If you play Rook H2 first and then G3... I think white can even take the d6 pawn after that. So yeah, right now? Because, yeah, if you play g2, then you have king f2, and there's no problem. Yeah, true. All right, a quick little update. Nigeria has defaulted all their games for today, but they will be back tomorrow. So all the Nigerian fans, it ain't over yet. They will be back stronger than ever, because they weren't so strong today, because they defaulted. You see what I'm getting at. So, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Uh, they are back in the game, thankfully. I hate winning by default. Uh, I'd love rather see a battle. And we saw a battle here, uh, which is... Uh, oh, this is, this is... Look at it. The King's Indian defense. <laughs> Told you, man. Told you. 100% yeah, you... win rate. 100% win rate. 100% win rate. Uh, let's see where the time scramble was like really bad. Uh, let's see this one. Oh, but this one should just be an easy win for black. That's not fun. I want to time yeah. Oh, this one! Should 40 seconds easy. against 10 oh, seconds. King D7, King D7 and it's over. This looks like a puzzle rush, but it's, it's actually quite simple. A little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like this could be one of the first uh, assignments. <laughs> Hater. Uh, all right, so that one is over as well. GG. This one also just ended. So the, the results are rolling in chat. Can't keep up on them more. There are 30 games going on at the same time. That's a cute purple picture, I have to say. I like drawn, hand drawn uh, stuff. I'm, not, I'm an artistic soul, chat. I'm an old poet. Is yours a, a cartoon then? No, it's. You are in it! I you know. are purple pig. That's also very poetic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why you took it, of course. As a exactly, exactly. This one ended in the draw. Uh, we have exactly here a win, another win for Belgium. For Sarah Snook. And then we have a few games. Oh, look at this. Two seconds. Oh, I, what whoa. Um, I think. What happened here? Oh, okay. this is my boy. My boy is playing. There are... Wait, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, this never mind. Looks like a draw. Yeah, looks like a draw. Well, black white is very active uh black still black has the better pieces of course but with a rook it should be good enough rook g7 rook takes g5 for example at some point yeah Maybe that makes sense. but it's also nice that the black king is cut off to be honest if the king wasn't cut off then black maybe has good uh, yeah. drawing winning chances but since it's cut off it's going to be a lot harder to to win this end game so would you go for this pawn or would you just like play knight d6 and keep things simple? I would try to get the king in somehow, so... Maybe knight b7 now? Yeah, then the rook can... Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, that would be a good move, actually. Yeah. Didn't see it though, and there is the uh, the trade, and this is a... Uh, easy draw. Easy draw. Easy peasy, 11, squeezy, g, g! Two more games left, ladies and gentlemen. We have, you can choose. You want to see uh, the match between Iraq or Malta or the match between Iraq and Malta? I choose Iraq and Malta. That's a very good choice. Let's look, let's take this yeah. one. Why seems to have a nice Paul majority on the queen side? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just winning. You can also play Bishop F8 at some point, but yeah, you first need to protect the F pawn, of course. 
Uh, but yeah, this is just too much material. Two pawns on the A file against the knight as well. Yeah. So looking looking very good for white. Knight f3, just h3. You cannot play knight g1. So it should be winning. e5 also good. Good enough, I think. Yeah, I agree. And it should be very easy. Maybe, like you said, h3. Let's keep it simple. And this one will follow soon. Yeah, this seems uh, pretty over. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see. Oh, I have another game, actually. I think this one just started. Mm. This one just yeah. started with only a, free, uh, a few seconds. Interesting, interesting. Knight uh, G5. Or, uh, no, no, no. I think I'm still following uh, old players. Yeah, and they yeah this just, is... Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not it. Some that's, of the players that's, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, they're confusing me, Ulan. They're conf they're confuzzling me. Uh, I know, man. I know. I'm trying rough, to rough time. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes after the players are done with their games, they just started playing some random games online to keep fo to keep focus. So, and yeah. we do not condone that because you <laughs> you mess with us. Uh, no, I once I saw the the usernames, I was like, ah, that's probably not it. This is an interesting position. How do you crack Black's defenses here? Um, that's hard. H4, H5 comes to mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just put a, try to trade the E6 bishop somehow. Yes. How do we do that? Rook, rook D3, Rook H3. Oh, you can just win the pawn, by the way. <laughs> okay. Can you? Yeah. Though? Why not? Can I just take here? Um, if you take? take with the queen, you're going to lose. And if you take with the bishop... Um, hmm. Can? No. This doesn't work, right? Mm. Does it work? Should I trace first? Maybe. Maybe it works. Yeah. What yeah, about take it. what about take here on d6 first? Um yeah, could all um yeah, could also work, yeah. Queen takes, I guess. Rook takes c4, bishop f3, rook takes c4, rook takes b6. That looks actually quite good for white still. Yeah. After bishop f3 and rook takes b6. So taking on d6. Is a good yep. move. I like it. I was eyeballing something like knight e three and knight f five, uh, because if you take, you know, you're gonna get a lot of pressure. Uh, mm -hmm. But I was maybe a little bit too enthusiastic, one could say. Yeah, so enthusiastic. Why has got good winning chances actually? Um, if you if you trade everything like we just did. Because the B-pawn will become very strong and very hard to stop for black. Yeah, I agree. Good. So we have, uh, let's see, two more games going on. Two more games in the pressure. And this seems like a very easy win for white. Uh, she's going to push this pawn. It's going to be over, pretty much. And this is the more interesting one that I'd like to follow but while these last two games are going on if you just join us ladies and gentlemen this is the olympiad these are the olympic events organized by fide let me summarize it really quick like that a worldwide event 163 teams with 1500 players from around the world old and young uh beard and beardless uh you know i'll just put it for win uh five divisions Going from uh, the lower seeds to the higher one. We're now in the third one. So we're uh, just for the middle. Uh, single round in each group. Each group will play three rounds per day. Nine rounds in total. A nice knockout style playoff to decide the 2020 FIDA Online Olympiad Champion. Which is some uh, very enticing stuff that's going on. Let's look at the divisions. This is the division that we're in right now. Denmark, Portugal, Bolivia. Uh, find your pick, the one that you are going for. Uh, I am rooting for Syria because they are a little bit of the underdog in Pool A. And for this pool that we're watching right now, Pool C, definitely going for Belgium. All right, let's look back at the game. A little intermission. Uh, you know, get our faces off the screen. Sometimes you don't want to see our faces. I don't know why, but... I think of the little man. Easy win for White, or it's going to be tough. Yeah, it looks looks like. Well, White is definitely the one pushing. Even if you lose the B pawn, then still it should be a draw. 
So yeah, white can simply try to play this for a win. It's not so easy to defend the, the B pawn to try and help. Yeah, uh, yeah. How would you defend this, uh, Big? Uh, I'm not sure how you're gonna defend this. I mean, the king first has to get active. So something like king g7, king f8 seems a little bit weird. Then yeah, you wanna you wanna start running, but I don't know you have to get your king active. I don't know how. Yeah, king g7. There's actually also bishop d5. Winning the f7 pawn. Yeah, rough, rough. And if you keep checking, you're only gonna help the king closer to this pawn because these pawns are perfectly protected. I think white would love to have the king on the queen side. Yeah, just king e3, uh, get the king close to the b pawn so that it can promote more easily. But once again, the f7 pawn is a big problem. After king g7, bishop d5, and the f7 pawn cannot be defended. So, yeah, that's why black doesn't even bother. He's just going to. But the knight on g8 is also terrible. Yeah, this is not. It's, it cannot go anywhere. Just b5. Bring the king in at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Bishop c6, king d4. Or bishop b2 even. Doesn't yeah. matter. I, I like bishop b2 more because it, it blocks him from... I don't know. Maybe this is better. I don't know. All yeah, right, chat. Knight on g8 once again. We're going to finish this game and then we're going to go for a quick break before the next round starts. There's still one game ongoing, but, but because they started... 20 minutes late, we're gonna have to take a rain check on that one. It is Iraq versus Malta uh, at the moment. We're yep. still two games ongoing, and it seems like from the score that is, Malta is up two points. So uh, a draw would be very beneficial while we wait for the other results to yep. know those just yet. But this is gonna be a clear win for it. Yeah, little news about the, the Kosovo-Belgium game, by the way. There were two forfeits there um, on board one and board five for the Kosovo team. So maybe also some internet problems or they could not make it perhaps or something. Uh, yeah, uh, and otherwise there, are, uh, there were a few forfeits here. Also Thailand-Zambia, there was a forfeit with board five winning from Thailand versus the player from Zambia and also in Lebanon there was a forfeit on board two the board two player of Lebanon won against the player from Madagascar so yeah there were some forfeits here and for reasons unknown but I felt like it was good to mention that those also uh, happen sometimes all right all right chat um we're gonna go on a quick break. First of all, I wanna show the standings real quick because pool B is done. We're gonna go for C2 afterwards. Uh, we see in pool B that Portugal is taking the lead. Uh, very nice. IPCA is the International Physically Disabled Chess Association. Nailed it. Nice. Doing well as well in Scotland. The Scottish, they are very proud of this day. And we have a lot of others trading behind like Nigeria still has zero points they'll be back tomorrow so don't worry about that your favorites will be there pool C is still ongoing after this we'll have pool C round two so do not go anywhere chat we'll be back in about 10 5 to 10 minutes with round two of pool C see you guys soon
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be starting very soon with uh, round two of Pool C. But before we go there, let me dive into the standings that we have uh, for today because Pool B has already been updated. There's now the full updated Pool B and Pool C. And we see that Belgium, Jordan and Malta are taking the lead. Malta, the underdog, if I believe correctly. Um, not really an underdog. I call them the underdog. They're playing very well. Jordan, obviously, uh, very strong players. And Belgium uh, had two default wins. So that doesn't say too much. Uh, I would say on board one is six, if I believe. So let's hope they can get those things. Keep those things going. Um, for sure. This is the vision that we have going on, ladies and gentlemen. Division 3, as I said, uh, these are the countries that are in here. If they're not in here just yet, go to Division 2. Maybe you'll see them next week. If they're not in there and they haven't played yet, then, ladies and gentlemen, you live in a great nation. Because they must be playing at the top level, which is this one. The top division. The Club 5, Russia, has all the Grandmasters. USA has the strong players. China, obviously, Ukraine and India are the power powerhouses. And we will see many, many more strong individuals. Let's get back. I believe the games are almost ready to go. Um, Roland. Yes, Have you I'm fun? here. Have you fun? <laughs> You're looking so scared, man. Like, I'm, I'm going to ask you. I was just waiting for you to finish the story. Like, uh, hey, I'll give you some time to explain everything nice and clearly. So. There you go. You're welcome, buddy. I like that. I like that. I see. I feel you eagering to uh, to explain something. So uh, can you talk um, a little bit about the format that we have going on right now? I, I can surely do that. So yeah, the format. Uh, well, of course, 163 team, and each team will consist of six players. Uh, yeah. So the first. Two boards are for our open boards, then two women boards, and then one board on the open under 20 and one open, and then one uh, female under 20 board. All right, yeah, so stage one, five divisions, uh, nine rounds, round robin, uh, three, the, the three best teams of each pool advance to the next division. So yeah, they all want to get a spot into the top division. That's more or less the ultimate division which decides uh, which teams will go to stage two. Time control is 50 minutes plus five seconds increment per move, starting from move one. Scoring, a win is two points, a draw is one point, and a loss is zero points. All makes a very much sense. It all yes. Sense. And we have and more. We have more? We have more. We're going to ah. keep it going. You lucky, you lucky dog. More? Yeah, lucky dog. You have something with dogs today. I mean, right. I got so, all of my dogs. Yeah, of course. You are a top dog, big. Very good one. All right, so the, <laughs> we are now at Division 3, so 50 teams. 35 has already been seated and 15 qualified from Division 4. Uh, yeah, the same will be for Division 2, and 15 teams will qualify from Division 3 towards Division 2. And that will go on until we have the top division, which is 40 teams, five seated, plus 20 continental spots, and 15 qualified from Division 2. That's, of course, the big division that we are all looking forward to. But hey, um, yeah. The Let's road get into the games, I would say. Yeah. Oh, look at I'm the first one. We're missing pieces. They're playing Bug House. What happened here? <laughs> What's this opening? Hold on. Uh, yeah, this is a standard opening. I it is? Think. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought the, <laughs> the I thought the dark scribbership was gone. I was like, okay, that, that is not that interesting. Sorry, chats. We're gonna we're gonna look at the Petrov defense, made famous again by Caruana, if I can say that. Can I say that? I think that's I think that's true, right? Yeah, and and of course, Kramnik versus uh, Kasparov in their match, which uh, Kramnik won. So yeah. Yeah, the Petrov has always been a big weapon for the, for the, the black side. Yeah, Absolutely. One, of the, one of the main theoretical weapons for black, indeed. So let's see, what would you play with white? You never play the series, right? So you don't really get into it that often? Uh, what, what do I play against Petrov, you mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, uh, I okay, a bit embarrassing, but usually I usually I play D three here. <laughs> D three, wow, that's uh... yeah. It's uh, it's not a main move, obviously, but uh, I yeah, used to I used to play this. I'm sorry to cut you off. This is what I always played. Okay. <laughs> this was my my this was my opening always. And if they didn't play D five, they would actually be in trouble. And yeah. it worked a lot on my level, you know. I was I was I was not strong. I was just a noob, so it usually worked. So if they go, let's say I go a little back, then you're gonna start making some room and stuff. But it's, it's not good. Shit. It's not good. It's interesting. It's interesting. Now we have an exchange yeah. French. Mm, not really, because there's a knight on e4. If the knight moves back to f6, then it's an exchange French. All right, all right, French fair, enough, fair enough. Let's see yeah. if we get some hype going on. You know what I'm looking for? Oh. Hello. Do you have one? Do you have a King's Indian? No, I have a Scotch. Let's look at this one. Ah. A D4, very good. Ooh. Oh, this oh, line. Oh, wow. Can you talk a little bit about this line? Yeah, I can. I think, uh, well, I think Black is more or less doing okay here. I'm not sure that this was the main line in this variation. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's uh, it's double edged. The, the, the Black King is, uh, is a bit unsafe at the moment, but White has developmental problems at the moment as well. So that should more or less compensate for the, the weak king on f7. Um, but yeah, the opening, I think knight h6 in the opening was not a great, it was not the best move. If I'm not mistaken, you're actually supposed to play d5 there. Sacrifice the pawn back, get some developmental play instead, and you should be more or less okay. Knight mm -hmm. g5, not the most topical line there in the opening as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, usually the idea is to play c3 if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. Go for it. Yeah, a pawn sacrifice, and you try to get some good compensation there. Uh, this is called, I think, the Max Lange attack. Impressive. Uh, Imp are you just making up names right now? <laughs> uh, bishop c5. That is called the Max Lange attack. Yeah. All so right, white, right. white's trying, black's trying to protect the pawn, and white's trying to to get some initiative. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's scooch forward. I'm, I'm looking, man. I'm looking. You know, I am, I am looking. But uh, this is the closest I get. An old Sicilian defense, as the B31 says. But interesting structure on these pawns. Yeah. yeah, Caruana doing well in this position. Black, of course, having the center at the moment, and White having a bishop on B2. That's something you don't see always. Uh, the bishop on b2, not the best place piece there. Usually you play, uh, you want to put the bishop somewhere a little bit more active because now it's nicely looking at the d6 and e5 pawn chain. So, yeah, it doesn't do much. And what white wants is to break open the position with a move like d4, but that is why the pawn c5 is so strong, yes. preventing all of that. So, yeah, black has black has nice, uh, nice control here. It always reminds me of like a black stone wall kind of idea if, it, if you reverse the board there's like a, a black stone wall if you castle this side but if the short castle was this side but we don't have that right now you said caravan i was like where where but <laughs> i was Carawana. i was hoping that people would be like huh? what caravan yeah i was yeah. Uh, you, you got me oh look at this look at this harry harry coming harry going we have uh, castiel's memeti versus william hewitt Hewitt, I think. That's the way. Yeah. Push that h5, baby. I mean, not now, but we have an interesting opening. Let's see how this is going. A very early h4. Is that good or is that really a blitz kind of thing? I think it's something that uh, Level Naronian played a few times. Yeah. This is not exactly the London system as is suggested because this is actually against uh, the Grundfeld. So, what is. Uh, what is different here is that white did not play c4 but put a knight on c3 immediately i think that's uh, that's an interesting line that aronian played against maxime vachele graf in one of the top one of the top tournaments a year or two ago i'm not so sure but yeah i think black is okay in this line still theoretically but okay it leads to very interesting play um white is trying to create something on the king's side try to uh, put immediate pressure on the black position and yeah like max did uh is saying in the chat actually ginger gm is 
having a whole series on it. And Who loves I guess, it? yep. What is what it? is this? Uh, <laughs> it's an alapin gone what wrong. What a... What we got here, buddy? I'm gonna switch my earphones. Alapin gone wrong for black. There you go. I think that's a good way. Let's see how this is. This has to be Sicilian, yes. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Look at that. Wow. F6. Not the yeah. uh, most intuitive way to approach it, I would say. Well, but you have to do something. You cannot really do anything. I kind of want to play this here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of want to do that. But, uh... Nice, nice. If you don't play f6, uh, yeah, well, white's obviously doing very, very well. Right? Yeah, this is uh, yeah. very nice center control. Your, your pass is... How do you call this? This is not even center control. It's a blockade. It's a domination, I guess. Domination. Look at that. Dominate. So, just, just about the theory. Let me... So, on move, I think it's move four. Black blade e6. Um, and then after knight f3, black blade knight c6. Yeah. So knight c6 is probably the mistake here. You should exchange first on d4, and then you can play knight c6 if you want. Because now... Yeah. Well, he, he went here, I believe. You take, and you take, and you, then you play d6. That's sort of more or less the main line there. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, not knight b6. Not knight b6. Oh, okay. You take on c3 oh you take here he takes c3 and d6 and that's more yeah. or less fun all right this is a it's still better for white i would say um but a lot better than what we see here unfortunately oh yeah. i i i want to keep i want to stay on this game knight b5 look at that yeah knight b5 big move there this is uh poggers absolutely extreme dota this over poggerino yes. I kind of want. I want. To, I want to get a mate. I still want to play this, man. You know. <laughs> Just grab a rook. A rook is fine. No, 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 no. I want to play this. I want to go queen here. <laughs> I want to do that. Um, let's look at some other games. We are here to look at yep. a lot of games. Um, Being not so hot for Belgium there. Not uh, not too far off in the position if you look at the pawn structure. I'm and a knight on b5. But this uh, is a little bit different. Might be five. That's a that's a funny move. That's something I didn't see before. Um, yeah, you, the main line is going long castle. Instead, knight b five. I guess the idea is to play knight c seven without the short castle. What is the knight doing on b five? Yeah. What if? Uh, yeah. What yeah. After a six, the knight doesn't really do anything. So, yeah, knight b five is a peculiar move. Because you also don't want to take on c6 and allow black to, uh, yeah, better his pawn structure there. Yeah, yeah, this is this is awkward. And you can go here. I don't know. This is you want to push a five, so I, I think you're just gonna go bishop d3. You're gonna pull this back eventually and start pushing a five at some point. Yeah, I would say. That's true. But then knight knight cb5 does not make a lot of sense. It's, no, uh, no. it's a waste right. of tempo, I believe. We can agree on that. All right, let's uh, let's go back to the top. Let's see if we have some juicy games. We got some. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's interesting I ones. Think, yeah, I saw an end game like this before. White is a little bit better after h5 because you do have a weakness on h7 that you can make use of, and a knight on c6 isn't doing anything at the moment. So this is slightly better for white, but. Black just has to play very, very solidly. A move like knight d8 would be very good, for example, to try and put it on e6, try to make it secure. But queen h6 is a big move here, actually. How would you defend off the queen h6? Well, it's black first move, so let's go here, queen h6. Yeah, queen h6. Um, I was thinking f5 first, but then yeah. I thought maybe that's just stupid. Maybe I should just go for the attack myself. So if I go yeah. here, you do something like this? Yeah, that looks okay. That looks still okay. Well, white is clearly in the driving seat, I would say. Absolutely, but, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe black has enough resources to counter everything. We're going to see. This is an interesting game to uh, to drop by and keep by. Uh, we're just going to look at... Oh, I thought oh, it was you, a Kings Indian. You love this. You love this. I thought, I, thought I found him, but... 
It's not entirely. We need, to, we need to change some pieces. This was actually came from Marie Lopez. But uh, it is a white to move. White, I know what you want. I know what you like to see. <laughs> yes. So, Let's go, F4, please. But you're not afraid of this? Uh, E5 looks extremely dangerous. E5. What's up, Buttercup? Yeah, that looks very strong. Is this already over? Can you just move here and... Yep, exactly. Go for the kill? Yep. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can push this one. Up. Anyway, yeah, this... Five with a 9G6, so it should be winning. This is uh, very strong. So, F4 seems very strong. We already have a, a finish. This is the game that we were looking at. Not a, a very strong game, unfortunately, by Belgium. Big yikes, yeah. big yikes. Uh, we do have a comment about the ratings, so let me remind everyone real quick. So the ratings that you see are not the official ratings. Those are adjusted com ratings. Uh, yeah, if there is a big match that, or a big game that we're focusing on, then I'll give an update on what the actual ratings are. But uh, yeah, we want to focus on the games and not on the ratings, of course. So. Yeah, but we'll do that when it's necessary, of course. So if you want to see the ratings for yourself, um, here's a link in the chat so that you can check it for yourself and you can see what is going on there. Right here, what's going on here, uh, Big? Who's better and why? Uh, I like White a little bit more because he has the Dark Square Bishop, and this is like, you want to have your Dark Square Bishop here. Um, I don't see a way for White to immediately take advantage of it. Maybe you want to go back to D2 and start moving in this way. Um, mm. But I think White is a little bit better developed. But... Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, still a pawn down. Bishop f5 looking, protecting the e4 rook. Um, well, I do think white has good compensation. One, yeah, like you said, uh, the dark squares are going to be a permanent weakness in the white, in the black. On the black king side, the king is very unsafe on g7. Um, but yeah, black is still a pawn up, and so far he's doing a good job negating white active activity possible activity so yeah it's very hard it's to get the queen in edged. i would say it's double edged i'm not sure how how to continue here with white though i guess you need to play something like queen b3 or queen b5 yeah Try i think to... i think that you should start playing c3 to get this diagonal going yeah that's a good idea yeah so that you can make more use of the dark square yeah you need to get on dark squares but I like I like this little intermezzo because, you know, I you, you cannot play this obviously. I mean, you can maybe, maybe it's okay. No, you can. Yeah, but it's it's not looking that great, right? No. Yeah. All right. Maybe like much better. Let's see uh, what else we have a draw here. By the way, Welsh Tiger versus Lenyards. Lenards, I think. Yeah, Lenards. Uh, Lenards. Yeah. Yeah, I played against Leonard. Did you win? Time. Oh. Hmm. Did you win? Yeah, I won. Oh, very nice, very nice. You gotta say that a little bit more proud, every man. Time, every yeah. time. Thanks for asking, Big. Yeah, easy, I won every time. Easy. Leonard. Leonard is regarded uh, 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 a talent of Belgium, one of the one of the biggest talents there. And you just clapped him. You know, you just went there and roll over with your Dutch pride. I like it. You know, show those Belgians. <laughs> she looking. Anyway, uh, let's go on. We, we already watched this game, so let's go a little bit down the list, see if we have anything nice going on here. This is a very interesting position. Uh, obviously, it's not 400 rated chat. Who can is it, that? though? I mean, black is a full piece up here. <laughs> Hence, one yeah. point. Yeah, okay, maybe... Maybe it's not that easy. Malta versus Kosovo, I think. Yes, correct. If I'm not mistaken. Wait, is that true? India will start in two weeks after this. So they're not yet. Not yet. Um, right. Yes. India's in later month. There are the, the heavy hitters. This looks interesting. This looks like an interesting position. Yes, how, how can, many we pieces? can talk about this one. Yeah. Can we go on uh, the fit on the back rank? Um, yeah. hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, looking looking brilliant for black. 96 F4. Looks like a good idea there. Yeah, if, if they, one of the knights was on E5, then it would not have been so clear. But all of the knights are, are on the back rank. It just stalled into their... Yeah, to, they cannot go anywhere. Yeah, you spot those things so quickly. <laughs> How do you do that? I mean, do you play Puzzle Rush every day or something? Puzzle Rush every day. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. You could just move the rook and then the king is safe. But you know, it looks... yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I was it's thinking what's the best way to to protect everything. I mean, you want yeah. to push an f4 eventually, so this is actually it is actually a good move. Wait, what? This doesn't look good. And now you no, cannot that's... play this because you have this. It's checkmate. Yeah, that does not look good. Sorry, and you cannot play this because it's checkmate. So king h7, only move. King h7, queen comes in, bishop h6. The knight, knight g3 maybe? And what else? Yeah, this is looking pretty interesting still, but maybe... We should be fine, let's see how he reacts. Wow! After king h7, you do have knight g3 immediately. Perhaps. That's also true, that's a good point, that's good to point out. Yeah, because the f5 pawn cannot really be protected anymore, yeah. so... Ay, ay, ay. I think uh, maybe a moment uh, in a, of unfocus for the black player. <gasps> I thought you were going to say a moment of silence. <laughs> a moment of silence for the f5 pawn. Exactly. F's in chat. F's in chat. Oh, I want some uh, f5s in the chat, please. Here. I know I don't have a lot of subs, but if <laughs> you are a sub, then help me out with the spamming of the F5. Uh, All right. Should be. Um, should be. Hold on. If it happens, though, of course, we need to see if White's going to play Knight, knight G3, but... It's not sure. Yeah, you're a sub. I am a sub. No, no, I'm a sub. 100%. So weird it work. Yeah. Um, oh well, oh well. Let's see. Yeah. It's interesting. And they're they're following my advice, so that's you know not the best solution. Um, yeah, but now rook g f eight and the pawn on f five is, uh, is is protected, or maybe even f four. Maybe that's also possible. F four looks very juicy. Yeah. yeah. So still looking good for black in that case. So that means Jordan versus Zambia. This is. Yes. It is. Yeah, so actually we are not on... Oh, uh, by the way, uh, we are not on pool C round three, everybody. This is pool C round two. Oh, Snake yes. from us there. Yeah, so that I was also a bit confused because the flags and the pairings weren't matching up. So, yeah, but our mistake, we are going to change that, of course, in a little bit so that you can see the, the pairings that are going on uh, Easy, right now. easy. All right, so this is round two. Round three will be afterwards. Don't worry about it, chat. We got you covered. Um, <laughs> F4 has been played. Interesting stuff. We have some very, very strong attack by Black. Very King's Indian-like, you know, which is to my liking. Because I'm a king. <laughs> Not from India, though. You're an Indian. No, you're <laughs> Not Indian. <laughs> Forcing the fortune. Um, knight. All right. Knight C2. I, I don't know where this knight's going. Things. No, the knight is stuck. I think he's just making room for the rook. So that the rook can play, can maybe move to f1, trying to put some extra pressure. Yeah, of course, with the tactical idea that if you take the knight on g3, then rook takes f7 wins material already. Yes, the, we cannot do this, obviously. Yeah, so instead, rook g8 looks pretty good. Yeah, yep. Then probably double up. Yep. And, and now bishop c4, uh... perhaps. Bishop c4, ooh, oh la la. Not sure if it works. White can play knight takes e4, but it seems to be at least okay for black. <clears throat> Winning some material. Yeah, it looks very good. Oh. I mean, you can just you can take this, and it's it. I don't know. I think black's better, but white has a lot of pressure on black, so it's easier to make mistakes. Yeah, maybe there is some. Maybe you want something easier. Maybe just f3 actually. Just to keep uh, keep the F file close, no counterplay, for example. Yeah, I, I like I like Rook G F eight, Rook C F one, and then we're going to think. <laughs> I'm going to think uh, that we're going to look at this one. This is a, a win for Belgium. Seems like uh, oh, 
That would be a very interesting idea here, where White uh, had a nice sec, so White was, well, this is gonna be good. But Black had a very nice little trick here. Can you spot it, Wuland? <laughs> you already showed it. <laughs> just, you know, just, just go with it. I, I just go with it. Queen takes D2. Hey, yeah, <laughs> Queen takes D2. Take on D5 with check. Take the Queen, and you're just up a full piece. Very nice. It's over. Very well calculated by Vare de Vala. Yeah, very, very good. Um, All right. Um, yeah, let's find let's find a fun position to talk about. What about this one? What about this yeah, one? this is interesting enough. This fits our goal here. Fits uh, our well, why, why is a pawn up, by the way? Why it's going to play G4, G5, I think? <laughs> yeah, it's over, more or less. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you've got great instincts, uh, Vic. Yeah, those, that, that looks winning. There's nothing Black can do about it. I kind of want to do this as well. Because if he takes something <laughs> like this, you know, you get you get these open spaces, you can get the bishop in uh, and all that jazz. I don't know, it, this, this seems so strong. It just looks nice, right? Yeah, it looks to, have, uh, to have a pawn on e6, bishop on c8 yeah. cannot do anything. But this, this is... This is good. You know, just gonna go g4. You're gonna move away. Rook g1, and just gonna push on the king side. Yeah, take it a little bit slower. That's still fine. I don't think black can do anything. You know, no black is stuck. Oh, um, g4. Yeah, g4, g5. I'm not. I'm not even that strong for bishop of six. I still can play g5. g5 huh? Yeah, yeah. Yikes! And if you have to play a move like f6, then ooh, that's just too much. I would think. For example, if you play g4 now and f6, you can yeah. play g4. Can you still play g5? Yeah, you can. F takes, knight takes, 96. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, the, very strong. Better version of what we just had. Well, not entirely. Well, knight yeah. takes f8 and knight g6, for example. Or just queen h5 also looks good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, black is in a lot of trouble. The pawn on e6 is going to be a long-term asset. You can double the rooks. Nah, this is looking brilliant for 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 white. Syria versus uh, Jordan. So, yep. Yeah. Ooh, we have a nice kingside attack here. Love it. I love this position for white. This looks very. This looks up my street. I mean, there's got to be a sacrifice somewhere. I'm gonna feel good about it. <laughs> I don't see a sacrifice just yet. Not just yet, no. Yeah. It's on your street. It's up your alley, right? Up the alley. Up the alley. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't know exactly what to do for black. Yeah, probably just bishop d7, I was going to say. But g6. I, I dislike this. Bishop c2 now. I'm going to sacrifice this somewhere. OK, OK. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to indulge you here. What do you play after bishop d7? Right now? This should be yeah. seven? Yeah, I'm just making a normal I think, move here. Okay, I don't think I can take this just yet. But maybe I can. Why not? Can, right? Right, so just play it on the board. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to take... Takes here, rook takes g6 check. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to take with the king, and what king, happens then? Queen h5. Yeah. King g8, good. and then we'll uh, still have this one. Yeah. And if you go to g7, we still have this one. Yeah, yeah. So that all looks quite dandy, I would say. Quite dandy indeed. You can actually play queen h5 first, and let's say silly move. Let's play yeah, this. Then, then you can even play this, because this is made. Oh, this is not made. Hold on. Not made. Bishop okay. takes. This is takes. Okay. Uh, I thought this was made. After queen h5, you do have rook g7. So I, I like rook takes h7 better. It's It looks more clean. You're uh, cleaning up the king side over there. So. Yeah, he didn't play it, however. We had uh, bishop. Rock to g3, and now we're in this position. The yeah, instincts, dude! You see these instincts? Yo, let's go! Rock to h7. Yeah, instincts, baby. Give them to me. Let's see. Um, we do have a, a question about some of, about the names. There were some weird signs in some of the uh, names of the, play, of the players of Kosovo. Uh, well, that's, for example, an apostrophe, like uh, if you put a line on the S mark, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those are not coded well on the chess.com website, I believe. So there you go. Uh, but they are normal names, so don't worry about that. It's just it's just a technical thing. Yeah. They're not hackers. Don't worry about it. We got it under control. Yeah. Um, let's hey, see over here. 
Oh, this works. Yeah, this works. Queen takes d5, rook e8, or queen takes d5. No, yeah, queen, queen takes d5. Queen takes d5. Rook takes d5, rook e8, rook g8, rook takes g8, king takes g8, 97. And you win material. Nice. This is well calculated by Tiani. Very nice. Does rook e8 first work as well? Yeah, I. I dislike that because of rook e5, but then you have queen takes f7. No, rook takes f5. No, this is not looking good. Rook ta e takes f5, yeah. Because you can... Uh, yeah. You can defend. So that's why queen takes d5 is better than rook e8 there. We're not going to yeah. see that anyway. And now we have some... Uh, there should be some... I want to get f6. I want to do this. <laughs> can I, I do this? Wanna, uh, yeah, let's go. That wins. Queen, how do you defend? Queen takes f6 is actually almost mate already. How do you defend? You cannot go here, you cannot go here, you cannot go here. You can't. The queen is going to fall, the f6 pawn is going to fall. Black has to make a terrible choice here, so it's winning. 97, will we play it? There it is. Easy game, easy wow. life. Look Ooh. at that. Look the at that. The no. Rijke doing it again. Um. Let's see what else we have going on in our adorable little game. This is... Okay, this is a win. I'm just looking for games that are mildly interesting. Because some games are just completely over. This one's over. Um, what about this one? Kind of over? This what? one looks interesting. Well, not entirely. Uh, I think black is doing better. Look at the rook on g1. There's two pawns more for, for black. Actually, can black just... Put another rook on the d file, for example, rook f d8. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just, I mean, white can never do anything on the king side. There's not enough. Well, okay, there's one thing that's rook g4 that could be annoying, but I think black just has g6. Yeah, g6 looks fine. Yeah, and you can also just take a pawn on a2, by the way. Looks good enough, too. Yeah, but I want to do this, okay? So it's black's move, right? So yeah. we're going to rook here. I'm going to do something silly. We're going to go rook here. We're going to attack this pawn. Yeah. He's going to be right. like, hey, we need to defend this pawn. But he mouse slips and thinks, hey, we can go for g7. And then we sacrifice. I knew where you were yes. going. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Those are tricks. Yeah. You always got to go for the mate chat. Pick the trickster. That, that will be your... Uh, the bigster. All right. Big uh, yeah, he's going to win the pawn. And it seems like black is up. Uh, quite the substantial amount of pawns, three pawns. That should be easy pickings, chat. Easy pickings. Five problems, but I think because of black activity, black should be winning. Yeah. With a few results, we're not going to go over all of them. Uh, we're going to see how this one is a nice mate. I do like myself a nice mate. Seemed like it was a fourth one as well. Seems like this was the blunder. Place over like Queenie 2, things will be defended and everything, but we had a mate here. Very nice. All right. So, we have a few games left. Uh, let's see if we can get a, a cute end game. I think this is a cute end game. Right here. The Bishop against the Knight. Talk us a little bit about the Bishop against the Knight. What is stronger in exactly this position? In this position, uh, the bishop is better uh, because the bishop is, uh, well, controlling a lot of squares. And it, it's, of course, also because white is a pawn up. For example, if black could play a move like knight f5, then black's knight would be more or less okay. But there is there are also some holes in the black position. For example, with the b6 pawn, uh, black has to constantly worry about moves like bishop c6 to try and, uh, yeah, yeah, attack the d5 pawn. Well, and it's a slightly open position, so I'm sure that white's bishop is is better than the knight on e7 at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. But the more important thing in this position is actually the pawn on f2. White's a pawn up. Uh, putting some pressure on the black position, and all white needs to do is, is start pushing the f pawn to create some problems for black. Push him, baby. Is that what I hear? Did I hear a push him, baby? I heard you say it. Did I hear a yes, sir? Yeah, baby. You gotta push him. You gotta push those you gotta push him. Oh, we see an ending here. Oh, he won! 
Yeah, my you boy were one. Look at that. Look at my boy one. GG. Oof, look at that. It was a very interesting. I think. Oh, this was the G. Oh, this was the G6 game. This was. Oh, yeah. The, how, how did he win? How did he win? The black, uh, white blonde. Oh, he lost. Uh, yeah. So Jack Mizzy won the game. Yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. So white wasn't uh, active enough on the king side, and instead took a wrong turn with bishop takes e6. There. Took a turn in the wrong alley. Yeah. Hate to see <laughs> it. Hate to see it. All right. I'm rooting for everyone, chat. Not biased at all. Uh, <laughs> let's see what is oh, oh oh g5 let's go i'm feeling it why not yeah. push g5 Shin baby push him there's literally zero reason why you shouldn't do it okay. yes there you go there you go now it's over what happens after Should f takes be... uh, after you take with the bishop right yeah i guess you also want to play bishop d1 on bishop h5 that's true but you, you have to we gotta fix this oh, first so great. I mean, white's clearly better, that's true, but it's not so easy. Ah, bishop takes g5, rook takes c4, bishop takes h6, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that nice seems, little trick. Seems rook takes over. And bishop takes a 6 check, f8 check. Yeah, true. Yeah, and here Ooh, you win the uh, p2 g8. You cannot even take this, obviously. Good, very good. This seems like a good win for white, and we do see this going on. Chat. Bishop takes g5, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. This game just ended in a win. Oh, no, it was yep. oh, a win. Dropping in. Uh, Let's see what the ending. ending the position is. Is this the ending position? Oh, he won on time. Okay. Uh, Probably disconnected. I didn't really see the clear win for white here. So it was black here. So I was a, I was a bit confused. But now yeah. I get it. Now yeah, I get it. See those, of course. Yeah, disconnections or... Yeah, we also see, of course, uh, people just forgetting about their time. <laughs> forgetting they're playing a game, you know. There is more distraction when you're playing at home uh, than when you're playing in the tournament. I mean, if you're playing at home and someone rings the doorbell, you are more inclined to take that than when you're not at home. You feel me? Yeah, I, I absolutely think so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well... Yeah, because actually, if you're over over the board playing playing over the board, you're also in this very nice, quiet environment where everybody's focusing. While when you're at home, yeah, you could get disrupted, especially if you have, of course, a cute puppy dog. Yeah, I agree. She's downstairs doing something. I don't know. She's being she's being a doggo. Yeah. Um, this seems like a win for White. Yeah, this looks good. I mean, White has the more active king. The knight's going to come to e5. Total domination for white. Um, white do, does need some weight at b6. I don't like. Knight e5 and knight c4 was, I think, winning. This is good. But I'm going to I'm gonna clip you out here for a second because both these players have 12 and 20 seconds. So this should be an interesting endgame. Especially right. since it's very... Uh, it's very equal. White's a pawn up, though. So, yeah. Once, yeah, but uh, eight seconds is not a lot. Oof. All right, let's yeah. see if this is going to work out. You're, you're, is this your boy, Castriot? Uh, that yeah, that's my boy. That's, that's my boy. teammate from Belgium. Yeah, right. Castriot Memeti. What's his uh, rating? Uh, his rating is about 2180, uh, I believe. 2180. 2200 low. I'm not sure. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Again, I can check that. It's actually 2129. Nice, 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 nice. Yes. The rapid rating, by the way. Oh, the rapid rating, okay. But this is looking brilliant. I mean, the knight on d5 is a, is a monster. Absolutely. Like, if knights could become monsters, then a knight on d5 would be one. What is that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Yeah, I think this is uh, another pawn is falling on b6. So that should be grand. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Good Rad. stuff. You can I actually take... take them before here. Yeah. Do you want to take it with the knight? I don't think I want to. I think I just would play bishop f2 and then start pushing the pawn c3, b4, for example. Okay, now we are forced to exchange. Well, we we're not forced. We can go to e1. Well, let's just take and play c3. But okay, fine. This is good. Too. <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you need to play c3 and b4. I think that is the way to go. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Pushing those pawns. Yeah, b4, perfect. Let's go. 
What's up, Robin? I can hear it in your voice, man. And you're like, that's cool. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm playing. I'm I'm having a poker face right now. Me too. Really... Very good, very good. I like it. Um, I I'm going to turn on the lights here because it's getting pretty dark. Let's see if this makes a little bit of a difference. Mm. Yeah, I think our rooms are more or less the opposite. Mine is very bright and yours a bit dark. But... Night D6, it's like, uh, yeah, the dark side and uh, the fourth. Yeah. All right. Yeah, white looking uh, very good in this position. Uh, bishop F8, Bishop F2. The, the pawns are just going to stroll upwards, I believe. It should be a bit better. And what else? There yeah, we go. I mean, hey, we can finally see you. Please. Look at that. I emerged from the shadows. From the dark. I'm lurking. Yes. <laughs> from the darkness, <laughs> Mr. Price. Yeah. yeah, this was yeah. like a very good win for White here. He just keeps pushing the pawns, get the king behind him, and uh, gonna look very good. Yeah, rook a1. Look at that. Might be six, nice. Very nice, very nice. Ah, Chris is saying, just turn the cam off, man. That's just bad. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are, you're right. Um, yeah. All right, so we have these and we have uh, three other games who are also down the line. Um, uh -huh. Or two other games. I don't think this one counts. This one does count. They just started. But yeah, they're already 77 slowly, moves in. The results are slowly dropping in, everybody. We are checking if there are still some interesting games. Mostly, well, like this game, are looking already more or yes. less over. Let's look at this one. Oh, this still interesting. Yes. This is a theoretic draw. This is not a. This is now okay for black again. Yeah, this looks okay again. Looks like a draw. You just go nine b six. Put your king yep. here, and knight when the king runs this way, okay. Um, knight c four, I suppose now. Oh, c four. Okay. F five. King of seven. So okay. Free. okay. Working okay, seven first. Not thumb pressure. It's not so easy. F five. It's not that easy now. He, he can just okay. park here. So it should be good. Yeah, if you play c three and c two, then the bishop has to defend the pawn, and black can take the a four pawn after that. So c three here first. You want to go knight king here to stop this because you, you you cannot play this. He has to play bishop before. Oh! Yeah. At c2, f6, king, h7, looks winning for black. Can you just run? Oh no, king, h... Knight c8! If the king, yes. if the king goes here, he goes here. And now he can go here. Holy moly! And now he doesn't stop the pawn anymore. Yeah, oops. C2. Why over pushed? Over pushed. Oh, yeah, I hate to see it, chat. Yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which board was this? Is this, is this, is this... Is this what is this? This, this is, is uh, Iraq versus uh, Lebanon, I believe. Madagascar. Madagascar against. Wow, Madagascar. Iraq uh, pulling one out of the hat there. I think this is. Oh wait, am I correct? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're totally right. Yes, Iraq. I'm always with, right. With that winning the the match, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I was confused with the Jordan flag. I was thinking I saw the Jordan. Flag. Yeah, no, that's that's a yeah, little bit like different. Um, yeah, here White is just uh, cleaning up, chats. Cleaning mm -hmm. up. Very nice uh, going on. Uh, while we have this one going on, let me remind you a little bit, if you're new here, what the Olympiad is exactly about. Uh, Rudans, could you tell us a little bit about uh, the Olympiad? Yes, just give me a sec. All right. Well, the Olympia is a truly worldwide event featuring 163 teams and over 1,500 players from around the world. Teams are split into five. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah. So, indeed, a truly worldwide event. A lot of teams are participating, a lot of uh, players, of course. And teams are split into five divisions. We are currently in Division 3. So, we are almost halfway in the tournament if Division three is done then we are exactly on halfway 
Uh, we've got a lot of divisions for you. And each team features two open boards, two women's boards, one junior male board, and one junior female board. So yeah, that means that it's a very broad team uh, with all uh, kinds of players, not just the best players in the country, but also the best youth player and the best female youth player. So yeah, that is something I really, really like. It shows also what how big the potential is in a country, for example, with the youth division. So I like that a lot. And also there have been countries participating that you don't see anywhere. For example, in the base division, there was the country of Gabon. There was the country of Brunei, Jerusalem, some countries that you've never heard before. And actually we had some ge geography lessons uh, in previous weekends. Because of that, it was a lot of fun. And it's, of course, f good to see how, that every country, that so many countries in the world are playing chess on and that they, yeah, are willing to participate in this event, of course. All right. With each division, uh, the top three teams from each pool advance to the next division. And But we've just started everything. So we are just today with the first three rounds of each pool. <sighs> Very good, very good. Nice summarization. Nice summarization. Um, all right, this is the two more games. Uh, two. There is one more game after this, but those players just started playing at the cutoff when they would forfeit their match. So they both have eight minutes left. So unfortunately, we can wait for that one. So we're finishing off this game. We're going to show the standings. We'll go to a quick break. Actually, we're going to sh show the standings after the break. Where we'll be back for round three. Of pool C, hey, that rhymes. It's kind of dope, right? No, yeah, okay. And seems like this is going to be an easy win for a white, where she's going to push these pawns. And I think black is hoping for a stalemate somehow, somewhere. I don't know why he's still. Playing. Uh, it happened in previous divisions, but I'm sure that Castillo knows how not to stalemate. So, yeah. yeah he can even right. like he can even do this. He can even do this. Yeah, even that, even that, yeah. All right, there we go. G, G, everyone, that was the final game. The other game actually also finished. They just, they, they pumped. <laughs> they pumped. All right, chat, we will be back in a few minutes. We'll be back for round three of Pool C. See you guys in just a bit.
and welcome back ladies and gentlemen round three of the third division of the third pool hey that's true pool c it's the third pool um let's you let us show you the standings that we have now ladies and gentlemen the standings that are going on at pool c is up to date we see belgian still taking the lead going very strong thailand second lebanon third uh, jordan fell off a little bit got a little bit of a heavy hit uh, i had to look back at who they were playing um, but we will find those soon don't you worry about that madagascar and wales at the bottom kosovo actually got a win last round so that's uh, quite impressive and we're going to see how that is going to work out uh, one second so are you gonna think who do you think is gonna win this pool Hulot? who do you have your eyes on Ooh, uh belgium yes i think it's going to be belgium uh jordan was also on my list like i said but jordan uh lost against the country of zambia actually kind of a big upset i think zambia is not a bad team either but jordan was actually on my list of favorites there but some surprises and actually zambia is also yeah not too shabby actually um but okay thailand is overperforming once again with once again their number one board player beating title players left and right uh that, that he's doing so well i think he won every game for his country so far mr Kopruetanon from thailand so thailand is actually also now on my list of uh, of countries who are yeah i've got a good shot to to move on to the next division so that's definitely someone to uh, keep an eye on as we go yeah. into the last round we'll uh, we'll start watching the game in about four minutes uh, so the games do get started Pe the players are supposed to start at four o'clock at cet tarp shape sharp time words uh <laughs> sometimes there's a little bit of a delay or disconnection or they just need to go to the bathroom and it takes a little bit longer than usual Mm -hmm. But we will be starting very soon. One more time. These are the divisions that we have going on right now. I can also uh, start with the play of the pool that we have in here. I think that will be an interesting one to look at. Um, so let's swap a road. We're going to show the standings now as we are looking at the games being loaded. Let's yeah. keep it going. And we already have some interesting ideas. I like this for white, actually. Aren't you looking at this, this idea of going to a 4 point pressure on d5 after these kind of switch swaps, queen b3? Is uh, some, it's very strong. It's something I play a lot. Yeah, it should be more or less okay for black, but there's a certain way that you need to play here, it seems. I've, I, I forgot myself how to play this exactly with black, but... It should be more or less okay, but indeed, it's an interesting line. Uh, if black's not careful, then d5 will fall. Yeah, the idea is here, you want to trade this off. You're going to go knight of four. You put a lot of pressure here. And if you go bishop e6, uh, one, you can just take this. But usually, you just castle here. And then you're going to play a free at some point and put more pressure on b5. Or the queen is going to come out here. Another idea in this position that is, if these things are traded off, the knight will find its way to c4, which is a very strong square for the knight. Uh, so that's something you have to be wary of. But in this position, uh, mm -hmm. white will push c4. If you take, you even have d5. And you have a yeah. lot of things going on. So it's actually something that I never studied theory of. But I played it so much. And I kept analyzing the positions that I kept understanding the position better or better so instead of saving me the time by doing theory i i did it the hard way but you know same results chat same results <laughs> what uh, black actually has to do here is after taking here actually you should take this one on h3 first which mm -hmm. seems a little bit controversial um but after let's say uh we're gonna cast everything then you're gonna take here then this knight's gonna find its way to c4 and black is actually pretty okay all right all right. Well, thanks for that explanation. Uh, You're welcome. You're welcome. You're I welcome. learned something. I learned something. Uh, all right. So let's learn from is... this. Oh, this is always interesting. Yeah, the Mises variation in the in the Scotch in the Scotch uh, E4 E4. 
5 gambit. So usually black includes queen e7 and queen e2. Uh, that's usually favorable for black. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so yeah, that black did not do that. That kind of baffles me. If, if white can now, for example, easily develop a bishop d3 in short castle, um, while if you, if you include queen e7 and queen e2, then you have all kinds of ideas, for example, with bishop a6 and d5, for example, with g5 or g6 at yeah. some point, try and attack g5 pawn. So that's usually a good inclusion. So that black did not do that. That is, yeah, that baffled me a little bit, but maybe there is some sort of interesting idea. There. Astounding. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This brother guy seems pretty knowledgeable. Is he not titled at all? Unfortunately, I am not. Uh, but Chess.com is going to give me all the coaching lessons that I need so I can finally start digging down. My highest rating was 2100 feet. And then I yeah, dropped down around 1920 or something. I have to get back into the game. I will get a title, make you guys proud, and uh, make Hulon proud. Go for that GM. How hard can it be? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, you're, I'm already proud of you, uh, Big. Oh, you. that is so. Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, improvement, room for improvement, but hey, you're doing great so far. Thank so. you, thank you. And sometimes I'm actually learning from you. So, yeah. There you go. All right. So, we are here in this position, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this dark square bishop. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Yeah, that's a beautiful piece. Look at the pawns on e5 and f5. Yeah, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Okay, but what if white... No, I'm trying to find something good for white, but it's it's hard. Well, I think what white wants to do is block this off, obviously. So something like b4, rook c1, c5 is something that I would look at. Difficult to achieve, though. Yeah, my first idea was d4, but then black simply has e4 there, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I like your idea with b4 and rook, uh, rook c1. Yeah. yeah. Looks good. Then again, uh, I was contemplating this, but obviously because this is pinned, but he's never going to take, obviously. He's going to leave it there, so. Yeah, you don't want to take there as well because you're going to give the queen suddenly an entrance, so. Um, so, but okay, black does have ideas connect with f4 and e4, but f4 leaves a very nice square for the knight on e4. Actually, the more that I look at this, I think that white's doing actually pretty good but white play b3 is that correct it seems very solid it's not too aggressive just yet i think black yeah black is just gonna get their rook to g8 king h7 make it uh, quite easily for it yeah just queen d7 rook g8 rook f8 white needs to b3 is very slow i mean white does need to be careful not to play too slow or else black can start counter-attacking at some point i agree fully agree Let's see if we uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get back to this game. It's an interesting game. Yeah. Now this is a game where you would say this is a game where I would be white. You ready? Just be <laughs> just be ready. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Push him, baby. Push him. Just push Harry. Push Gary. Push. Britain's uh, having a Britain's having a field day, chat. Having a field day. Harry, Gary, and Fairy. Uh, I, 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 uh, legend, Derry. Got him. Um, Frank. I would say something with black position is fine. I, I do think he needs to push f6 at some point. These are the positions where you really need to get rid of this strong position. And you have like a very nice, you know, diagonal on that. So if you get something like f6, uh, let's say let's say the trade off, you get in with the knight. G4 is weak. Uh, if you ever push the spawn, this knight is weak. You can actually start playing on the weakness of this knight. So I I, I go for it. Yeah, I'd go for f6. G4 and f4 are weak pawns. Yeah, I like f6. F6 seems very very good in this position. Yeah, like to counter White's idea, but still it's very very complicated. I mean, Black doesn't need to play very very secure here. Not to get over. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You could, you could miss miss a tactic somewhere. So yeah, very interesting position. Oh, by the way, about uh, the black player, Mr. Prin Lao Hawira Pap. He's white. Uh, with white, I'm sorry. <laughs> from Thailand. Yeah, I remember. I remember this player from the previous division where 
he also had a 100% score, and I think he still does have a 100% score. Yeah, this kid from uh, uh, Thailand. Yeah, so still two good. players from Thailand to watch out for, and I'll, I'll keep an eye on. All right, we have some uh, people asking for the Belgians. Let's see if we have board one of Belgium hidden somewhere. Sometimes people are asking for boards when they haven't even started yet. All right, here we go. This is board five, I believe. Yeah, yeah so a... the player Varre de Varre. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's their board one, then? Uh, their board one is... Oh, I, I hadn't remembered, but let me check. It's not the, the, the waiter? The Leonard way... Lennarts. Leonard Lennarts. Okay, Lennarts. Where, where is Lennarts? See, this is the thing. I don't have his game. Is his username? Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Or something. We have Leonard going in strong. Uh, not too much to say about his position. It's a bit dry, where it's very equal. Um, I would say Black has a small edge because Six, he's nice. developed a little bit better, I would say. But it's a very small edge. No, oh, no, 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 no. There goes the... Uh... <laughs> what? Queen e7, it's okay. I like White a bit better here, though, because White has, a, has potential as well. It's not that much. I was thinking maybe b4, b5. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that matters too much here. No, I don't think so. No. I don't know. You yeah. can get the works in. Yeah, like I said, it's a very dry. Yeah, like you said. Dry so position. Yeah. Both players are going to play rook ac1, rook d1, rook ac8, rook d8. And it should be. Okay, this looks nice. This okay. looks like more fun, you know, fun for the whole family. <laughs> Well, not the whole family, because the player from Zambia, I think, is not going to be too happy here. No, it's not going to be too delighted about this. Uh, how are you going to defend a tree? You don't, right? Diana. Let's see, that's board four, second women's board. How are you going to defend it? Well, you can't. Something. Okay, so we're... No way. So rook f2 looks like an interesting move, or queen e2, perhaps. But about, but... What about rook g1? Seems, seems okay. Seems, seems okay. But seems okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's it's difficult to... Because usually you think, okay, do I have any counterplay? Can I start going to d7 or something? Um, that doesn't work. You cannot defend this. You really need to start making some moves. So like I say, rook f2. If we take here, we have here. We have at least some perspective. You're going to go queen f5. So you stop this queen d3 looking at h7 idea. It's... Yeah, it's very difficult. Very difficult to play. Uh, he's going to go for queen e2. Um, do we want to take this? Can we wait a little bit longer? No, I think we Let's do just take, take this. Let's just take you. How many pawns are you up? You're three pawns up. Yeah. No, two. Two pawns up with black. So I would just give another check here. And if, if she goes here, you can actually start bringing the rook in. Yep, yeah, I agree. Looks good. So this is... Uh, this is a yikes. It's just a yikes. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see if we got some killer games going killer on. Games. Not killer whales, but killer games. Or have right. some killer gains. Because I'm so buff, you know, bro. Uh, never mind. I'll buff? shut up. Wait, you said you're buff? I'm buff, yeah. So get you gains? You know what I mean? Oh, like gains. Like that's fitness talk. Uh, okay. Do you I do. This? No, not at all. Oh, okay. I used to swim a lot. But we'll get that. Uh, I've been walking a lot with my puppy. That's the thing, yeah. you know. She needs to go out six times a day, so. Six times a day? Yeah, it's something. Holy. Okay. Yeah, by the way, talking about dry positions. Um, mm. Yeah. Not too much going on here. I'm just, I'm I'm just bro I'm browsing, dude. I'm browsing. I'm, I'm window shopping at the moment. How about this one? I'm going to yeah. keep popping up games until I have your uh, permission. Ooh. Um, white wins material. Look at the rook on a8. Look at the queen on a2. Hate to see it. What, what can black do? Hey, that rhymed. Look at that. Hate to see it. I think oh, yeah. it, the best idea here is just taking... Yeah, rook b8 here. Yeah, I think so too. But still, after queen h2, there's also rook on h1. Rook oh, hold on. Never mind. 
You have uh, this one is also a threatened. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, never mind. Yeah, so you can just take it. Oh, you were you were trying to fan. Yeah, I, I tried to go uh, two two moves <laughs> at a time. Two moves at a time. All right, so this should be over. Uh, yeah. Let's see what else we got over here. What about what about this one? What about this one? What about this one? Yeah, it looks interesting. Um, so knight b4. So white cannot take that knight because of bishop takes a1. And black's threatening knight takes d5 here. So, uh, And also bishop takes c3, actually. So I think white's in kind of in trouble. OK, but white is not a pawn up, right? Miscounted. There's no g pawn anymore. Hmm. So yeah, white is going to be a pawn down, it seems. After bishop d2, knight takes d5. After knight e3, bishop takes c3. So, so I'd have to go here, here, bishop e3, go back and then win the pawn this way. Or you're going to go to bishop e5. Bishop which d4. Which is also an opportunity. Uh, yeah. But I, I, I like this. I like this for white. It looks OK. Because yeah, this 9 is very strong. It does not look so easy, no. This does not look so easy. So you probably have to go all the way back. Let's go, let's go to g7. But then you lose this pawn. Um, yeah, I think actually black has to play bishop d4. You don't want to lose that pawn. But yeah, I agree. C takes b4 looks very interesting. It's not not easy to counter that exchange sacrifice. Is she going <laughs> to play a chat? Can we get a? Uh, I'm gonna. I think it's yay. And a nay. How was it? Nay, nay, nay. Vote. Yay and nay. <laughs> Yay or nay? Uh, is she going to play takes b4? Do we have a yes or no? Because, you know, I don't think she has any other options. I think it's that easy. I think so too. It's the most interesting way of play. So for me, it's a yay. Yay. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go for the yeah chat. Come on. Feed me your energy. Feed us your power we are ready to go i like it yeah mm, it's a monk of chat yeah <laughs> yes quite intuitively mm. well that would fall within the purview of your conundrums of philosophy mm, yes okay i'll shut up i actually i just i just want to chill a little bit here i want to see if he takes them before yeah, so suspense moment, right? It's a very suspense moment. moment we've all been waiting for. Is she going to take on B4? She will never take. She'll just let her clock run out. Uh, this con the connection looks good. Five bars or four. Four <laughs> bars. So looking good. Spinning bars. No, not chocolate bars. Big. No, you like no. I was like spinning bars. Spilling um. Bars. Yeah, no, we're, I'm, I'm standing. I'm, I'm putting my foot on the ground, chat. We're going to wait one more minute. This is a big decision. This is definitely a big decision. Should play rook a3 and then bishop b2. Mm, yeah, but that looks so passive. That looks really, really passive. Yeah, that's a that's a. Let me, let, me, let me find out who these players are and what their rating is. So the names you all can see, the ratings are not accurate because these are chess.com ratings, and not their FIDE rapid ratings. So their rapid ratings are. Do, 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 do. About nineteen hundred both. So it's pretty pretty accurate. All right. What about so ninety five take... for white? Uh, bishop that gets, yeah, that's uh or knight e five. Yeah. Oh, okay, D uh, that's I'll I'll take that. All oh, right. That... A great position. Yeah, I you know I've I've been patient, Jet, I've been patient, but she doesn't want to play. We'll go back later. To see if she uh, delivered. Let's see if she delivered. Now this, oh, it's this position. Yeah, this one isn't too interesting, I believe. Yeah, why is this completely winning? Um, well, let's look at. So we have some. Well, this looks interesting. Sarah and uh, Lorita have uh, managed to get an interesting position here. Uh, well, Black is actually going to win another. Is Black is one pawn up? And after queen g6, queen takes g2. Yep. I think it's another pawn. Yeah, it looks like it's another pawn. White cannot play rook e1 because the knight on e2 is uh, under attack then. Yes. So that's uh, that's a rough one. Yeah, that's what we're going to see. Looks winning for Lorita. 
of uh, Zombia, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it seems so. Ruiz has a very nice position. I, I'll, I, I, when I watched this position, like, like only the small miniature version, I saw this knight and the queen on the on the on the king. I was like, you know, maybe this is something, but this is yeah. gonna be a a rough cookie. Unfortunately. Unforge, unforge. Um. So I'm gonna hold on, chat. Hold on. I'm trying to find the game where we were deciding on what we would do. <laughs> I already lost it. <laughs> Already lost it. Will she play C Tex before? Exactly. So, I mean, actually, let me let me read back what the chat said. So there were four yays and five yays, actually, and two nays. So most of the chat wanted to play C Tex before. And She's still thinking. On the board. She's still thinking. Unlucky. She's actually thinking about C Tex before. You know that would be a good idea. I that like would it. be like a very good. Um, I mean, like uh, decision, like an advanced decision. What's the number in bold next to? That's the the score. If you win, you get two points. If you lose, you get zero points. With a draw, you get a one point. Let's. Uh, I'll I'll bring back the stat or the what's your oh. name. Let's go back to uh, the rounds. People can see who we're actually number, playing. Bold next to the country score. You've also got. Okay, so you've got the match points, which are four, four, two, two, like you saw. But besides that, you've also got the board points, and those are yes. the first tiebreaker, just in case we need that in the final standing. Exactly, exactly. All right, we have a checkmate on the board against Soracha against Niavo Mitia Randiran. Thailand going strong. Thailand doing well, even if even though they were playing in the uh, fourth division last weekend. So they were a promoted country. Damn, they're yeah. they're going uh, they're going strong then. <gasps> she moved. Oh, she did not do it. Oh, she played bishop d two. It's it's hard to sacrifice. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, not for me. <laughs> no, not for you. Not for <laughs> me. <laughs> In a heartbeat. But sometimes it is. Yeah, it definitely is. Look at this game. This is. This looks mildly interesting. Black is uh, dominating here. Mildly interesting. Uh, Black is absolutely dominating. Pawn up, if I'm counting correctly. Yeah, yeah pawn. And winning another pawn on f3 after bishop g3. Yeah, we're oh, actually, giving one back, so. You are giving one back, yeah, that's true. But then again, you would go here, after take here, you have actually check and win c2 as well, so. That wins a piece, actually. All right, looks over. So this is good for this is Jordan. Yeah, now I'm not mistaken. This is Jordan versus Lebanon. Yes. This this would actually be an upset, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, it's a bit upsetting. It's, it's, <laughs> it's upsetting to see this. Yeah, sure. this is board five. No, this is board two actually. And this, would this be an upset? No, this would not be an upset. No. International master with the black pieces against feeder master with the white pieces. All right, so it's not that, uh, not that crazy. Yeah, black is dominating here. Good game by black. Let's move, scooch over, as they would say. Not sure where, but let's go. And uh, we have some interesting play here. Well, white is just completely dominating. Never mind. Yeah, this is uh, has been over for a long time. What about this one? It's opening. I was. Oh, wait, what? What about this one? Hmm. hmm. I feel uh, kind of okay with this. Who is better here? White is up upon, but down activity in king safety. Yeah, exactly. So how would you play here? As white? Yeah, I'm thinking what would be a good idea. I mean, because black is attacking the e2 pawn, but you don't want to play e3. Because then after queen f3, or even rook takes f2 was maybe already a Muslim idea there. Yeah, absolutely. But now yeah, white's so idea is to go queen e8 and pick up f7. Yeah, so... that looks like a good attempt. So probably black has to play something like queen f5. We or cannot do something f5. like we're going to do something really... This Is this an idea? Yeah, looks interesting. Yeah, this looks. Uh, this does not look that great for White at all. So White have a defense here. Let's move a few moves back then. 
So here, what would be a good move instead? You could play rook a8 and then queen takes f7. Oh, yeah, that's a little yeah, bit more difficult. There's no mate. Rook e1, simply king h2. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. you're threatening queen g8 and rook a6. All right, so that doesn't work. Yeah, so that's why I wanted to play queen f5 or... Yeah, queen f5 looks normal. Yeah, queen f5 looks good. Protect that pawn. And yeah, you are pawn down still, of course, so white's definitely... <gasps> no, 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 no. Queen d8, king here, rook a5. It's defended. Now I'm looking here. Ooh, that's this interesting. This is pretty annoying. And if you yeah, go to g6, you're just gonna go to a8. You have to play queen g4 then again, back. Okay. And then take on e2 is then the threat, so... How are we going to salvage this? Do I go queen to... Hmm. I want to go queen d5 to attack all this. Yeah. And then... Ma yeah. Maybe it doesn't do anything. That's... Yeah, okay, but this is at least a good way for white to keep playing. I think in the position, what happened here? This is, we're still still waiting after queen e7. I don't uh -huh. know what to do exactly for white here. Like I said, um, but for black, if you go queen f5... Oh, maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe... Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you play it passively, like for example, rook b8, then white can start pushing the deep on, for example. Yeah. Perhaps. Or just rook a7. I mean, you can always yeah. play rook b8 and play it safe, but it's not what you want. Yeah. I think that's a bit too much. But... Yeah, anyways, uh, white's in the driving seat, and yeah, black has to answer some questions here. <laughs> Answer for your sins, you know? We're a good cop, bad cop. I like that, you know? It's the good cop, bad cop kind of idea. Would you be the good cop or the bad cop? Me? Yes. I would be the good cop. Yeah, I cannot be mean. I cannot be... No, I cannot be. Me neither. I'm, I'm a saint. I'm a saint, <laughs> Chet. Can... <laughs> Were you rolling your eyes? Are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Maybe well, not. I think between the two of us, I would be the good cop, you would be the bad cop. All right, fair, we... fair, fair, fair. That's fair. Good analogy, good analogy. Um, yeah, let's move good. on a little bit, chat. Yeah. Let's move on to what do we have here? Huh. Huh. Draw. Kowalski, analysis. What is it, a draw? No, that's just my, my yeah. guess there. <laughs> <laughs> what will this position be? I think it will be a draw. Yeah, why? I don't know. No explanation. I just think it's going to be a draw. It's a gut feeling. Fair. This knight is blocking very well. That's a start. Yeah. It's going to go back to g2. You don't have this e3 push, which you really like. Um, an idea is to go like king g6 and then all the way this way. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, all right, all right, you're so amazing. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Crying yes. a lot, crying a lot. I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, just, I, uh, so you're just, just stretching, you're just stretching, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you, could see my, you could see my arms and I was doing a lot more, actually, but you can't see those in the camera. <laughs> I could like, see them. Striking some poses, you know? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, just like, uh, yeah. All right. Here we have and an interesting position where white is down material, two mm -hmm. pawns, I believe. But has a good king. But has some good ideas. Yeah. Come. Maybe Kira wants to be on the on the telly. Uh, what do we have here? Rook b8. Rook b8, bishop b5, looks winning. GG. It's wow. over. Yikes. Wow, that's what you can do with space, you know? Yeah, exactly. He's down right. two pawns, but he has so much space. This is board five, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wait. All right, G, yeah, geez. Board five. Board yep. five. Let's look at this one. Oh, the two rooks against the queen. Waiting for black. Is it ready? Rook D2, what are you going to do? Rook a8. I don't like that one though. Oh, rook a8. Ah, oh, wait. Rook d2 is, is a draw actually. <laughs> I was mistaken there. Yeah. I was mistaken there. But rook e8 is so passive. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, what is what is how, what's Black's win idea here? It's a good question. I don't think Black has one anymore. It's just too passive now. Did he have actually? She said it was a it was a mistake. Yeah, my rook dd2 was actually a draw, but um, I think Black should have played way more active. There, that's fair. That's fair. I agree. Completely agree. It's going a Still lot bit too fast. Way. For example, rook e6 is now interesting for us. Yeah, to double up this way. Yeah. To, to the king is get... safe. I mean, that's a big thing, Chad. Especially if the queen against two rooks. The, queen, the king shouldn't be safe. Uh, but here, the, the rook is... Uh... Very, very, very comfortable. And black. Yep. Yep. P take the pawn. I dare you. Actually, maybe it's not that bad. No, white should take. Yeah, I think I think uh, the white king is safe enough. But... All right. So we're going to see a check. He's going to go f2 probably. Yep. Well, now you can at least win the h2 pawn back. With rook d2. True. And this is very well set already, so... Oh, that does not make a lot of sense. A4 simply. A4 was good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand rook b3. That was a, that was just giving a tempo. If he goes rook b2 taking here now, he just lost the tempo. Yeah. And I'm very okay. upset. Okay. It's so upsetting. Pop setting, chat. Pop setting. I don't know. This is this should be winning. Well. Should be winning for black. It's yeah, I mm. think so too. But it's not so easy, obviously. Yeah, the queen on a seven or the queen is going to get more squares if it's going towards the center with queen d seven at some point. Yeah, see that. And it's going to be really, really annoying to play against that king, uh, against that queen, especially in uh, in time trouble. So. So Leonard has his uh, work cut out for him. One could say. Yeah, he, he needs to defend for sure, but I think chances are quite high that White will defend here. That's uh, my initial guess. I mean, well, look at A-frame. He really wants that pawn. Yeah, he's uh, he's camping. Queen Watch out. Four. Rook A-3 does not make a lot of sense. Watch out. Once again. Well, you do have Rook F6 check, actually. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Still, watch out. Yeah, I I don't like how Black is, is trying to play this. He should have yeah, he should have well. gotten the, he could have gotten the H two pawn, but instead he chose to try and get the A pawn. But the A pawn was easily defended. So, uh, why aren't you playing for the Belgium team, Roland? Well, I am Dutch, <laughs> so I can't. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. You would though. You would though. I would, I would play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I were for in, if I were Belgium, uh, of Belgium nationality, I would play for. Yeah, I would play uh, in this event. I think. All right. Let's look at this one real quick. Rafat Isa against Fadi Eight, Eight. I think. It seems like um, White is a commanding position. How is he going to defend C three? Rook C four mm, is an idea. Two. King D three, King C five. Mm, rook takes c3 looks like a winning ending. Yeah, because this this is just winning, so. Yeah, and rook takes c3, that looks like, yeah, I think that really is a winning endgame, so. That's North Belgium? No, 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 we're not moving to Belgium, all right? <laughs> listen, listen, chat, listen. Belgium <laughs> is South Holland, all right? Yeah. Deal with it. It yeah. is. Yeah. Belgium is like second substitute Netherlands. Second substitute Netherlands. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Making yourself very popular around <laughs> Belgiums. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> let's uh let's 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 move I, let's move away. I love Belgium. I love Belgium, everybody. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> yeah, we love we love we love how did you call it? Beta Netherlands. <laughs> Second substitute Netherlands. Oh my God, dude. Netherlands. I it. <laughs> All right. Uh, B6, and you can run away. So that's really good. Is white move? Okay, B6. All right. Let me say something. Well, yeah, B6 looks winning. Uh, by the way, I love Belgium also because they have really good football players. Yeah. Mm. Name one. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh my God, he's so good. All the world. 
Ja, Alderwereld. Um, Hazard, of course. Eden Hazard. Absolutely, absolutely. B6, game over, let's go. Put him in the bag, chat. Bag and tag. As they would say. Actually, in the Netherlands, we also got a song called Belgium, isn't it? Yeah. Famous. Actually. Von, von Pluto. Yeah. Yeah, Von Pluto. It's actually, it's like a song that promotes living in Belgium. Maar kan ik heen? Kan niet naar China. Kan niet naar China. Daar is het te druk. Okay. I'm not gonna sing it yet, but it's a, it's a good song. It's my puppy is chasing my it's her tail. Classic. She's incredible. Courtois, best the goalkeeper in Spain. In the Spanish competition. That's true, Hamas. Hold on. She needs, she needs a little bit of attention. Right. Yeah. So yeah, White's playing b6. White look uh, looks very good in this position. Uh, if King takes b6, then of course c7. Uh, thank you, Chris, singing with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't have an ear button, so I can't hear you. Be but we nice. do have uh, the Kiva stream. Yeah, you got your attention? I'm oh, sorry, Chad. She's very. She wants a lot of attention today. Me? You're gonna eat my. Yo. Could you not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, he resigned. Yeah. Obviously, uh, after uh, you take her on B6. Yeah. The spawn's gonna run and it's gonna be over. Yeah, you good? We're gonna go out after this, don't worry about it. Into hard dog life. Alright, we got the key to into mission. I didn't hear you because the earpods couldn't put them in. Um, let's continue. This one is over. We only have a few games left. 50 seconds against 6 seconds. This is actually an interesting one, chat. This is actually an interesting one. Yeah, a few games left. Um, not that many anymore. Well, actually, doesn't White just look winning here? Oh, completely winning. I'm just looking at how... Is it simple as bishop takes, queen takes, it's with check? Never mind. Um, oh, I would go really the queen set up, actually. I would try and play something like queen h2 at some point. But Oh, bishop e7. Nice, 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 nice. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to see the full order. school board. Uh, we're going to show it afterwards, Amus. You can also go to chess results. Uh, yeah. there's, a, there's a list there. There's a link for everybody to follow. Here you can see some results. And on chess results, uh, you can find the results yes. of the match. A yeah. full detailed list. Also on olympiad.fide.com. Uh, one second list. I really like how I play here. Just very slow. Very, Very calculated. F6, really nice. I don't know how he, he finds... How does he find all this stuff? It's pretty pretty impressive. That is called positional play. Yeah. I'm not going to go for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is Prin. This is the player from Thailand I was talking about. Uh, with the white pieces. So once again, he is on a 100% score on board five. Doing well, doing well. Yeah. Nice. Nice win there. All right. So Thailand with this win, I think, has won the match against Madagascar. Yes. Jordan doing well against Lebanon. Let's take a look at the, at the results we've got so far on the left. Uh, side of the board so belgium zambia still undecided malta wales looking good for malta and iraq kosovo still not a lot of results there but yeah but we will keep them uh we will keep you update on more results obviously and also of course when the round is done then we're going to overview everything am i seeing double uh it's not very often that you see double queens you know no all right, so not the only one. All right, there's gonna be a mate here, I believe. Queen, uh, queen e8, and are you gonna stop it? Oh, mm. wasn't this just mate? How are you gonna stop this? Yeah, yeah, look good. Well, you don't need to mate in one as long as you win. You know, you can also true, just grab true. off the board and you win. It's all about. Oh, you just traded queens. She didn't see that it was uh, okay. It's completely over. All right, G G. And then we have two more games after this chat. Two, two more, more games. games. Yada, 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 yada. 
let's go. Uh, we have this one from Belgium first. Oh, this is the two rooks against the queen. Wow, the two rooks really pulling it out there. Look at that, chat. Yeah. Really giving a run for his money. So do you play f6 check here? So is this something? Can you play g5? If he takes here, it's made, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I was going to play rook g2, grab the other pawn, and then see what's happening after that instead of f6. Just rook g2 when it should be over. I'm actually looking something up. I'm not too sure about my geography at the moment. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you buddy. Um, all right. All right, so this should be over. I think this is already over. I think he played f6. Oh, it's actually made this way. Nice, very well played by Black. Yeah, like you said, exactly how it happened to you. A bit, uh, a bit of an upset for, uh, for Belgium here. Well, I mean, they are very strong players, Zambia. We already knew this. And the last game of uh, right now, we're gonna say today. We're not even remotely My boy, done. Castrio, uh, looking needs to defend this position, but it's looking like this will be an easy position to defend. Yeah. Uh, this will be a Philidor position at some point. Actually, is rook takes f3 not a draw? That's a good question. No, it's not. It's not. King takes f5. Oh, king e5 is g4. Okay. So f5 here? Yeah, but then king f4. And you have all positions. So this is winning for white. Yeah. And if you play king e5, then maybe this is a draw. After g4, this king is this d6. Is... So can and I just go e6? Well then king f4 and king f5 maybe. Does it matter? I am gonna do the same thing that you do. Mad. It doesn't matter. It's still opposition for black. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, so the planning is a draw. I've been working on my opposition. So. <laughs> yeah. It's it's clear. Yeah. Yeah. You've got that opposition to come, man. Yeah. So it's a yeah. draw here. By the way, I was looking something up because we actually had a derby and more or less a. Middle Eastern Derby between Lebanon and Jordan. Those are actually uh, neighboring countries. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just wanted to to share that. <laughs> Perfect. And we will be right back with the results, ladies and gentlemen. And then we will be back after an hour break. So we should be good to go. Um, exciting games. Exciting matches. We're going to look at the pools after this. Uh, let's look again what we have going on uh, when a tie break happens what do we do when a tie break happens my dearly beloved Ula? oh boy okay yeah so when a tie break happens that means that two teams are having uh yeah the same amount of match points uh then we go to point b as you guys can see then we're going to look at game points and then what we're going to look at is the in is the uh individual clash so how they played against each other and yeah, first, of course, who won the match uh, between the two. If one team won the match against the other, then it's clear. If it was a draw, uh, then it's going to be game points totals in the results between the teams which remain tied. Then Sonneboard Berge, then Sonneboard Berge game points, then drawing of lots. That's more or less what it is. But first, match points, game points, and then the, uh, the, the results in between between the two teams, more or less. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, it's reading a bit complicated on this card, but I hope everybody got it. And otherwise, you can still look it up with the exclamation point Olympiad remark uh, <laughs> link for more information. So if you don't want to say, just give the link and then it's easy, you know? Or also just look it up yourself. <laughs> um, so this is the, <laughs> the final standing of a Pool C4. And now after this, we're going to continue with Pool D and Pool E. Thailand, number one, Belgium following, and Jordan, uh, kind of what you said, kind of how you predicted it. These three are the heavy hitters for now, but there will be two more days uh, with a few more rounds. So we're going to yeah. see how that is going to work out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I believe we don't have the standings for Pool D entirely just yet, but I can show it anyway. I'm going to go against... Uh, what my 
organizer was saying, was gonna throw it on the screen. Uh, C is a dot at D. It seems it's always updated. We have a chill being first, Denmark second, Venezuela, the pool of death, as you would have mentioned it. Yep. I'm very interesting to see who will win that, especially the countries Chile, Denmark, Venezuela, and Bolivia, and actually also Uruguay are big countries to take into account there. Yeah, in my opinion, the pool of death, really a lot of grandmasters in pool D. Perfect. Now we're going to yeah. look at that pool after this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will be back in an hour. Then we're going to go watch the finals of pool D and E. And then we're going to be back tomorrow again for 11 hours. Just entertainment. Guys, we will see you in an hour. Get some tea, get some breakfast, get whatever you need. We'll be right back. Cheers, everyone. Much love.